welcome back to Waste Some Time with Jason Green. I am Jason Green. Uh, it's Wednesday. We're here. I will address that last week there was a little bit of a, a controversy. I had Wednesday 13 on co-hosting. Wednesday's been here uh, many times in the past. In fact, we did a segment called Where in the World is Wednesday 13, where he joined us from uh, uh, the road. But Wednesday, you know, he's not a professional broadcaster. In fact, his Instagram name, handle, if you will, I can't even say it on this show. So a few things were said and uh, uh, the powers that be, the almighty algorithm, uh, Big Brother, they're always listening, always watching. I don't mean to sound like a conspiracy theorist because they're usually assholes. Uh, Well, I'm probably in trouble. Uh, but anyway, uh, they, they said uh, what is suitable uh, for ad suitability. And apparently what was said was not uh, suitable for ad suitability. And uh, and so I, I was allowed to make all of the super chats. I thank you for those. But uh, the rest of it, uh, unless you were a member or subscriber, uh, they're, they're, they're not showing ads, which means I'm not getting paid so what i've learned from all this is that the c word is frowned upon the c word in 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 the same sentence as a a a, a religious uh, icon is frowned upon uh wednesday was referring to the band cradle of filth they have a t it says it probably can't be said on these airwaves also uh in a uh a joking fashion we we spoke well he mentioned a uh a fake news personality who's been in a lot of trouble and uh and it's maybe probably shouldn't uh, say anyway there was a few things and listen i might have been guilty too uh, uh uh with some of these things but we're going to be joined by someone today who is much safer in, in, uh it's not aaron Rodgers, but uh somebody who's a little uh, uh safer and uh, uh broadcasting uh, um, with that said, when's will be back uh, at some point, but uh, I have to do my best now to run a very clean uh, broadcast, and I'm going to need to think about that. I'll join you right after this. Sorry, I was reflecting. A uh, lot going on. Getting this channel back in the groove. That's what we've been working on. That's been the New Year's resolution. Uh, YouTube uh, the channel, Patreon, and uh, YouTube memberships. Getting all of those things together. And uh, Michelle has taken on Patreon so that everybody gets these cool items and all kinds of bonus items as well. Uh, my next interview. We're getting back to interviews. I had to take some time off. I was sick for about seven weeks. I just finally think I shook this cough. And uh, and then while fighting this upper respiratory thing, I got the, uh, the other C word that you're not supposed to say. Uh, that really wasn't a big deal, thankfully. But it doesn't help when you're sick. So I lost a lot of time. Now back on schedule. Next interview, uh, first interview of 2024 is Robert Sweet. From Striper, and I'm looking forward to you guys seeing it. If you're a channel member, you've already seen it, or you can watch it right now. So, for those of you who are YouTube channel members, go and watch the Robert Sweet interview after this, of course. And for those of you uh, um, who haven't become a YouTube channel member, well, now's your chance. Go sign up. Just go to my page and hit join on this site, and uh, and you can watch those interviews first. Now. I've also uh, uh, have a new tour diary coming out. It was a little bit controversial uh, tour diary. YouTube also has issues with its ad suitability. And uh, uh, and then there is a scene where Johnny Monaco, a good guitarist for Stephen Piercy, uh, a regular on this broadcast, he got into a, a little bit of an altercation with the people at Starbucks. They they screwed up his order. It was hard. It's, so, and while it's an amazing piece of uh, a video tape, celluloid, if you will, the problem was there was music playing. And the music in Starbucks is awful. Who would think it's copyrighted? But 
it was. And so I had to do some editing to fix that. And now I have to go through and edit it for content and uh, edit it for uh, language uh, because uh, it's controversial. But uh, that doesn't matter for uh, Patreons. So what I'm going to do is tonight, the YouTube channel members are going to watch Robert Sweet. Tomorrow, the Patreons are going to watch Robert Sweet. And uh, and the members will watch the tour diaries, and then we'll switch. So everybody gets something. If you're trying to decide which one is better, well, if you're interested in the collectibles and things, then you want to be a Patreon. That's also where I can update you on other things, which I will be doing now. Uh, a YouTube membership, if you want instant gratification, and you like to watch things early, uh, I think it's cheap. That's for you. Okay, so now I've uh, summed that up. What I'm also going to do in a response to this controversy, because I like to be able to do a show and talk about whatever I want using whatever language I want. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to do broadcasts where uh, it's YouTube, it's Patreon and YouTube members private. So you can join a chat. We can say anything we want, uh, uh, clothing optional, and uh, it'll be just for members. So that's the other perk that we're going to work on. That way. Uh, I can express myself as the true artist and content creator uh, uh, that I identify as. So uh, a couple more uh, programming updates, and then we'll bring in my uh, guest uh, for the evening, my much safe, safer uh, guest. Um, Robert Sweet of Striper's first interview. Tomorrow I will be interviewing Kelly Nichols of LA Guns. This will be the first interview since the passing of Steve Riley. He's going to talk about the future of the band. He's going to talk about the brand new record, The Dark Horse. I've heard it. it comes out January 22nd, which is Steve Riley's birthday. So uh, he'll talk about that. And we'll learn a little bit more about what's going on and what the future uh, holds for those guys. And uh, if you're a member of Patreon, you'll watch that first as well. So there's those things. There's tour diaries. There's so much to offer. I'm going to take a look at your comments real quick, and then uh, I'll bring in my uh, guest. Uh, all right, let's take a look. A lot of comments. I might need my glasses for this. Oh, maybe not. All right. Uh, let's see who's here. A lot of you got here very early. I appreciate it. Over 200 people already watching. I'm sorry that I do this so late. A lot of people don't know or don't get alerted about the show. My next goal is to program the next four Wednesdays in a row. So, you know, every Wednesday at six o'clock, I'll be here. Now, next Wednesday, we're going to have to figure out the time difference because I will be in Baltimore, Maryland, but we'll figure it out. Okay, Skyler's here. Uh, Drizzler is here. Thank goodness, Drizzler. I, I, I missed you. Uh, 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 the Goaded Group, a name I can't pronounce, but uh, thank you. Uh, looking for Wednesday. Skyler, looking for Johnny. Everyone's looking. For something uh looking for love uh, to quote the song uh two brain cells ready to waste some time the traveler of thailand would like to know if this is in fact where the down boys uh, uh go all right let's see uh vang varg i don't know what the uh, uh, jesus what varg vickerness Cache one two three. Okay, I got it. You were a fan of Wednesday since two thousand and four. Fantastic. You were early to the game, Eric. Good evening, Jason, and all. Yes. Uh, hello, fellow time wasters. West Coast Ronnie says he can't understand the time. I can't either. YouTube posts the times uh, sort of strange. They, uh, it, I don't know what time zone it comes up on, but it is six p.m. Pacific Standard Time every wednesday this one uh it was tough i don't know why it said it, it I, people are having trouble finding it but listen you, you'll, you'll be here all right uh okay get through a few more of these comments i appreciate all the hellos julie is here julie's a channel member thank you uh julie you can watch an interview with robert sweet if that's your uh, kind of thing Jay Roberts says, it's good to see me. And that uh, makes me happy. It's good to be seen. Jackson's mommy, uh, good to see you as well. I, mean, I can't actually see you. You know, when we do that future thing where we do the chats, we can all see each other. Uh, and and that would be nice. Yeah, yeah, right now, all the pressure is on me. Uh, uh, Jay Lee Smith, channel member as well. 
Happy New Year, Jason. Uh, love the Robert Sweet video today. Now let's waste some time, everyone. Yeah, great. I'm glad you got to watch it before uh, everybody else. Uh, Justin says, uh, YouTube needs to relax. I'm scared to upset them, uh, the powers that be. Uh, Skylar's looking for Matt Thorne. Matt will be here. We're going to play a game with Matt where we're going to show Matt a, a very famous pop culture icons and see if he knows who they are. The idea with this show is that it's not just me sitting here talking nonsense that we'll do things. We actually very soon have a thing. I got to get Johnny Monaco, this mystery box of candy. But we are going to have one person represent candy from the 60s, one from the 70s, one from the 80s, one from the 90s. Four people on the show. We're going to have mystery boxes of uh, 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 period appropriate <laughs> candy. I don't know why I'm making myself laugh. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Kelly would like to know who the fake news broadcaster was. I couldn't say the name. Because if I did, uh, they would take away my money. Uh, uh, Mark Sanchez, nice to see you, Mark. Uh, uh, James Kotak, this is going to be a little bit of a story. My my obituary for James O. Kotak is brief. I didn't really care about the guy. You know, is that, I mean, I you know he's got family and friends, but you know, whatever. I, I worked with him once when I directed the Vegas Rocks Awards. He wasn't very nice. You know, uh, I know he suffers from abuse. Uh, excuse well, he abused substances and never want to hear someone pass away. Never want to hear someone pass away at just 61 uh, years old. But this guy uh, was a mess. And it's a shame. It's Sometimes you can't save these people. You can't help these people. Supposedly, he had just finished a 40-something day rehab. But the, the amount of abuse you give your body, uh, you know, the guy had the greatest gig. He was in the Scorpions and he just couldn't keep it together. He said something arrogant to me. He thought he was funny. A lot of people think they're funny. That's a big thing out there. People think they're funny. And they're usually not. And if anyone tells you they're funny, they're definitely not. But anyway, he was kind of arrogant. And I told him uh, something along so, uh, uh, of the line. said, hey, you know, I, I like your, your, your band. But then again, I like Led Zeppelin also. And I don't know. Maybe he didn't like it. Uh, Kingdom Come uh, was the absolute worst Led Zeppelin. Uh, sound like band. Anyway, uh, YT says, uh, YT Johnson says, Monaco can pick a fight anywhere. I will tell you that in this case, I think he was sort of innocent. Uh, you'll have to see the video and see what happens. But I mean, boy, uh, this young person uh, sort of attacks, attacks Johnny. Uh, it wasn't Johnny who had the potty mouth. It was, uh, it was uh, Wednesday 13. And he didn't mean it. It just Came out. David is a channel member, and he also saw the interview with Robert Sweet. So I'm glad you did. Um, it was a good interview, I think. I'll be honest. I don't think anything I do is good. I, 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 David Letterman, they said that David Letterman, after every show, would go into his dressing room. And if it didn't go the way he liked it, just wreck everything and hate it. Almost everything I do on this channel, when it's done, I think it was terrible. And uh, But people seem to like it, and then I just shut up. Uh, okay. Would you ever have Matt Storm? Matt Storm and I have talked about doing the show, and he will. He was He's like on a little bit of break right now. He has a book, but he said he will come on. So, uh, all right, I'm, sc I'm scrolling. I, I'm, I would love to chat, but uh, and I'm, I'm, we're going to try to keep this to one hour. We've already been here 14 minutes, close to 300 people watching. Oh, Todd is seeing Green Day at a secret CS show. Not bad. Rest in peace, Cindy Morgan. Now, that is something I could relate to a little more. The late, great Cindy Morgan uh, uh, of Caddyshack fame, Lacey Underhall and uh, Underhill, Underhill. And she uh, she passed away, sadly. Uh, she was also in Tron. That's not my thing, but some people uh, love Tron. Malfunction has a, is a Tron collector. Uh, anyway. Uh, I was sad, and what was really sad is that she dropped dead uh, in her house and was there for like five days, and her roommate came home and, and noticed the smell. And For anyone who lives alone, uh, and what a fear that you will just, uh, uh, that you'll just drop and no one will find you for days. Uh, what a bummer. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Ed. Ed says everything I do is great, and it's the best show on YouTube. Well, I appreciate that. Francis says, I look amazing. Well, I'll tell you, I got this thing on the, my nose right here. It's a bump and it's red and it's sore. And I believe, uh, not to be an armchair doctor, but I believe that 
the cancer is back and I will have to go uh, to a specialist and have a biopsy done of this thing. And unfortunately, or, well, I mean, look, hopefully it's not, but I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking uh, you'll probably find me dead uh, uh, soon. Uh, hopefully not too bad in odor. Uh, Cindy Morgan was, it was definitely a babe. All right. And yeah, rest in peace to David Soul of Starsky and Hutch. Everybody's passing away. Uh, Jen uh, makes a great point. Jen Rat, rest in peace, Shecky Green. Shecky Green was living in Las Vegas. Who the hell knew Shecky Green was alive? I've been telling Johnny Monaco that we should go see Rich Little. Uh, I, 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 the good folks offer me tickets to see Rich Little. The problem is, and I've tried to explain Rich Little to Michelle. Not a lot of people know who Rich Little is anymore. I mean, Rich Little's got to be 103, 104 years of age. And he's known for doing impressions of Jimmy Stewart and Ed Sullivan and Richard Nixon. They all kind of sound the same, you know, uh, for a big show, uh, you know, but, uh, but it's a retrospective about his life. And so maybe Johnny and I will go see it. Mark Sanchez, watch the whiskey show on YouTube. You looked like a giant. Uh, can't even say, I don't know if we can say that word. Uh, to wit, he was a nicer. He was a, a nicer guy. I feel like there's a typo in there, but I I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the uh, uh, super chat. All right. Um, I don't, I think my guest stepped away, so we'll talk for a little longer until he gets here. Um, but uh, a a anyway, uh, does the bump on your nose have smooth edges? Oh, hold on. We're edges, is it pink or red? I don't really know. I don't really know how to explain it. It feels like what, okay, my guest is back. It feels like, a, like a, what a zit would feel like, sort of. But uh, I don't know. I've had this before. Uh, Jay Lee says, the Piercy Band is on fire. Well, then let's talk to my favorite member of the Piercy Band. Johnny Monaco is here. How are you, Johnny? Hi. Good to see you. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you sound good. Listen, I am also dangerous, okay? Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. You should have seen me in the elevator. Crazy in there. It's a big ordeal. It's, they're just they're, they're just beneath us as peasants. This is a, I drink brandy now especially when I'm being uh, busy being dangerous. Yeah, look at that. Is, is that a brandy a cup you have? <laughs> That's right. Wow. I, um, I've been drinking brandy a lot lately. Mm -hmm. what, what are you chasing it with? It's, a, it's whiskey. And the, the brandy goes down smooth. And does the whiskey make... <laughs> oh, Jesus, John. Does the whiskey make it smoother? Oh, <laughs> I uh, was looking at Tesla's. Uh, I was uh, browsing the internet for a new car. Mm -hmm. And do you think um, uh, $90,000 is too much for a car? It depends on who you're asking. I mean, oh, Johnny, careful. It looks like you have a drinking problem. Uh, <laughs> 90, I mean, 90,000 is a lot of clamps. Let me tell you something. Here's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you don't ever put gas in it. Right. That's true. How right much in. money do you think you spend in gas a year? Oh. Gas is point. usually four dollars a gallon right now. That's kind of what it is out here. It's around four dollars. That's, That's a good point. How many gallons does your car take? I uh, I think uh, how many gallons? It costs about sixty dollars to fill it up. To fill up. Yeah. And how many days do you think it takes you have to fill up? Every three days? Four? No, no. Sometimes I'll go weeks without filling it up because I don't drive that much. You don't drive. That's, that's, true. that's why I think the Tesla is a good idea. You uh, mean the band with Brian Wheat and Jeff Keith? No, because it's local. I think those cars are set up for that. You know, they're not set up for like, let's drive to Miami. They're set up for, be good for around, me. well, around town. Now, I rode in Matt Thorne's chariot. Yeah. Uh, and boy, oh boy, I thought they were slow <laughs> or not. Uh, it was like being on a roller coaster. I literally it made my stomach like I felt like like you were going like the G force. You could feel it. Zero you, to sixty. You were, 
about your driving. Now you were worried about his. Well, I just wanted to experience the car. He, I didn't tell him to get on it, but he jumped on it. And and it was uh, 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, which is, I looked it up, and it's faster than a lot of the fast cars that I wanted to buy. Now, mm-hmm. his wife, Ramel, has the Plaid, which is the higher-end one. Mm-hmm. $95,000. I don't know a lot if you want money. you saying the value of their cars. Well, you can look it up. Anyone yeah. can know that, you know, that's how much they are. But it's worth it because zero to 60, 1.9. That means you can get to wherever you're going two seconds faster. Mm. Right. I mean, well, that, I mean, that is good. And, and they, uh, they, they need to get around Burbank uh, it, it fast, you know. Uh, by the way, it's a, because now it's a, that you've said how much their cars are worth, we should mention this is how they're paying it. This is the number one instrumental funk jazz bass album on the Burbank charts right now. It's called <clears throat> Back the Funk Up. And it, <laughs> it, it's available everywhere. Uh, uh, well, no, it's available on Matt's website. And so go go buy this damn thing. I can't see anything. And, uh, and tell him that I sent you so he realizes that this is uh, 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 working. Uh, I Listen, I like the, the Tesla for a non-driver. That's what I am. It looks like you're driving a video game. They got that screen, and it tells you when there's a car next to you, when there's a car in front of you. Maybe that's too much of a safety net. Uh, that, uh, that. No, it's 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 really nice. I mean, being in that car, it was. Wait, is someone telling me to turn off my television? Why don't you mind your own business? Yeah, maybe you would. Uh, that's Sea Dog, I think. Sea um, Dog, maybe you would like what Johnny's watching in the background better. What what what's the is it distracting you that much? No, I think what? it's nice. It's practical lighting. Why don't you turn yours off, dummy? Okay, now he's now he's gonna pick a fight. You know, yeah. don't get well, me started. Yeah. Listen, I, I know how to handle Starbucks baristas, okay? So I'm sure I can right. handle you. Wait till they see it. Uh, uh some people are against you having a, a Tesla. Uh, they say don't get locked out, or it'll cost twenty thousand dollars to get back in. It's that's scary. that's that's like the Earth is flat. That's what I think. I don't Dummies. think you can say that. I don't think you can say that. Though. Oh, I, only, only can't say that either. All right, I didn't know. I, I'm I'm a little dangerous. Yeah, no, no, you're working on the edge here. My, I get it. Com- command of the English language is just you know off the charts. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. See, look at he says he always has the TV on. Don't turn it off. All right, he's saying he doesn't know. As if it's such a big deal, I'll turn it off. Jason, it's your show. What do you want me to do? Well, let's let the audience decide, maybe. Uh, well, you're a man of the people. I don't think it bothers anybody. I, I Honestly, I hardly know this. Listen, it's on forensic files all day because you never know when you're going to need a little extra knowledge. Also, mm-hmm. have you seen this potato that I, 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 I so I've been hearing. Uh, you see, dog is fine. He says keep it on. Everyone wants it on. They like it. Right. But so this potato is 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 really tearing up the news media today. All all I keep hearing about is, have you seen Johnny's potato? Uh, yeah. And uh, and and here it is. I, and it looks a lot like it was on Easter Island. It, it yeah. looks like one of those statues. Social media, you know, especially when you're in the industry, as uh, some of us are, everyone feels like they've got to post. Don't mind if I, I don't do. think you have to post that much. Sometimes people overdo it. Well, and uh, they're, they're if you don't have content. any, if you don't have any material, you shouldn't post at all. Right, but you have a potato that has a face. Um, he also and, has a drink drinking problem. Bit of a he's a bit of a of a, a snood. He only well, drinks brandy. I but, don't mind if I do. But the potato is very, very famous now. Uh, it, it, you can hear it whatever. I want, I want to get to there's some some people who, who have super chats. AZ, who's a great uh, supporter of the channel. Did Johnny get any compliments from his bandmates at his performance at the Whiskey? Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I had some whiskey stuck in my throat. No compliments? Compliments? Let's just start with a hello. What, uh, listen, can we get the super chats up a little? Because 
we don't know what we're doing for dinner once again, and I have no food here. And All right. the old, Jason, work your magic because that sushi, it's a little pricey, but you know, I'm trying to eat lighter. I'm trying not to eat so much pastas and heavy Me stuff because I, I don't like how I'm looking lately. I don't like how I look right now. I don't I, I don't look how I look like how I look, but I am wearing one of our sponsor shirts. Oh, what is it? This is Tim. Remember Tim from uh, Tennessee? Uh, sure. We went to his, we went to we went to the thrift store where where um, um, Stephen bought a guitar. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a nice place. Well, evidently we're in business now. He he called he messaged me and said, since we're in business now, I'd like to send you some shirts. Well, that's very nice of him. You you did kind of work in the store. If, if people haven't seen that tour diary, Johnny helped people buy guitars. Yeah, I did, and uh, his sister was there. She's very nice. She's a school teacher. Okay. And her husband, and they're they're always on my page. They're very nice. Um, it's a lovely town there. Uh, is um, he in the video? Does he have a long beard? Is that him? They all He's have a cool beards. Guy. Yeah, yeah, but I told him he looked cool. He does. His name is Tim, and this is his last name right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we're in business. Stephen Piercy's band is now in the home remodeling, uh, a kitchen remodeling business, which seems like a part-time job for, but uh we're in business together now so i i'm promoting for the, i think he's one of our sponsors so do you know the name of the guitar uh that uh steven purchased you, or, uh, do you know it it was yeah. something weird oh <laughs> you remember stuff like that i, I it's well, guitar stuff i it's in one ear and out the other in in fairness he said it so many times that i chuckled every time and then I edited the video with it, so I spent a lot more time with it. He he calls it a a Dillion, but he also sometimes calls it. They call it a, a Dion. It, it, it's had different pronunciation. But um, so to answer Az's question, no one complimented you. In your no, name. no one complimented me. But you know what? That's okay. Uh, sometimes Scott Coogan, he'll he'll be he'll play something. And then I'll play a solo, and then at the end he'll hit his sticks, and then he'll point at me, and he'll go. Yeah, I've seen him do it. In fairness, every especially when we're not on the road, the whiskey everyone kind of goes their own way. We don't really yeah. see each other. Not everybody talks or says good show or anything like that. It gets the whiskey's hectic. There's a million people everywhere you walk. It's really yeah. crowded. That's 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 why. And also. Um, Sometimes Stephen will come up to me and he'll be like, ah, and he'll hit me on the butt. So I think that that's good. Except I think right. so. Yeah. Uh, this yeah, is again, I know theme. he smiles a lot. He smiles a lot when I play some solos. So if he I get a smirk and, and, a, and, a, and he'll introduce me sometimes, I'll take that as he's happy with whatever happened on that stage. Yeah. This is VBT who is nice enough to super chat. Uh, Johnny alluded to the fact that he has not had dinner, neither have I. We are both uh, eating better. I'm fasting 16 hours a day right now. Me too. I'm at 20 right now. I'm at 24 hours. That's great. Well, you really are. Yeah, ready. but it's not doing anything because as you get older, gravity sets in, and I don't think there's a whole lot I can do. I I I'm supposed to go in for my physical. I'm way past due for my checkups, mm -hmm. and you have to go. Otherwise, like you said, one day there's a corpse in your house for six days. You know, and I live by myself. You live by yourself, but we probably wouldn't know if, if one of us checked out because we don't talk like every day. I mean, sometimes you do if there's something like, did you see this dummy? You know, and then we'll talk. But it could, could we could go for three, four, five days, and then next thing you know, you know, I'm not at the airport, and it could uh, happen at your room at one of these hotels too. Uh, you know, we God, can wake up in the morning for lobby call, and someone doesn't come down, and then we have to sneak the body out through the, the storage so that the, the media doesn't catch it. You know, well, that actually like, happened in, in one time it, in, um, I believe we were in um, Finland and um, uh, Mark Torian uh, uh, broke a bottle and tried to cut Chip with a bottle at a gig because he was mad because Chip said something to him. So we had to get between them and he threw the bottle down and went back to the hotel room. He was very upset. And then when the morning we're like, let's go, we're all leaving, get in the van. He wouldn't come down. Time was going by. It's like, is he coming? Because we were like three hours from the airport. We're like, fuck, we waited, 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 never came down. We left. Left him in Finland. So he he didn't die. 
because he was also at the whiskey. If you might have noticed, um, he was the one. The other, he was the other one dancing on stage. Yeah, it, it was strange. It sort of turned into a uh, uh, Lord of the Dance. I didn't know exactly what happened. <laughs> oh. I discussed the whiskey show with Wednesday, but it's probably better to discuss it with you because you were there. Uh, but uh, I was kind of there. Is mm -hmm. offering to contribute to dinner. But, oh, please, uh, please send it in because all I got is Orville Redenbacher and whatever that is. Oh, Chris gave me this. He's watching. My friend Chris. What am I going to do with that much Jack Daniels? That's the biggest battle. I don't really, I don't really drink. I don't really drink. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm doing a lot of vitamins and raw um, uh, honey. And there's nothing in my refrigerator except this. I got this sea moss that I've been trying to do, but that doesn't really fill you up. What do you do with that? Uh, you're, I, it's supposed to be good for you. And then, you know, I have nothing in here except chocolate and ice. So I really, we really need some help here because. Well, California Dreaming wants to help. He's a channel member, but he's trying to find a way to cut out the middleman, so to speak. Johnny, oh, just, you have yeah, let's go to just, to yeah, let's do uh, Venmo. You can Venmo Johnny if you, if you need to, and that'll go towards our dinner. Or, or, or you, we, we both have Venmo, don't we? I don't know if I have that. Well, I mean, you maybe gotta, I do. You got to get on the I don't Venmo. Need big, I don't need Big Brother looking into my uh, finances. That, that, that's, a, that, that's a myth. And the satellites do work. So, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. This ice is the only ice I have left, and it's it's so it's so crushed. I try to put the. <laughs> this seems it, like someone who knows you, Johnny, right here. Uh, CC Fonzi. They said that I need to take you to the Golden Sphere. Screw the sushi, Monaco. That sounds like someone who knows you. Oh, you know what? It sounds like someone whose child consistently insults me at get-togethers. I notice you, uh, Johnny. Uh, he wants to Venmo or PayPal. California Dreaming is a great uh, uh, supporter of the channel. I, I I am on Venmo. If you look me up on there, it'll be a cartoon character of my face. It's on your website, and though, right, Johnny? Can they find it there? That's or no? right. Is on my contact page. Well, I'm trying to make sure that they don't flag us for something. Oh. But okay. if you go well, to johnnymonaco.com and you go to his contact page, uh, uh, whatever you give is, is kind. You don't did, I to did, did I tell you about my new pillow? Well, you told me you were looking for it, but you didn't tell me how it ended. I bought a new pillow at Kohl's where somebody asked me where things were, like I worked there. And uh, I bought this one. It's the Serta uh, standard. I got the standard model. Um, it's like a, she, a, 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 what, what is that? Who is she? she? Looks very. She. I don't know, but she looks very happy. And then on the other side, this one's fast asleep. So I'm like, this is what I need because my well, neck hurts every time I wake up. I got a sore neck, and I'm thinking maybe it's still. In, I'm in the market for a pillow, Johnny. Maybe you could when you're done with the luggage, you could do pillows. But what? Uh, have you unboxed it yet? I've used it. This is th day three. All Pretty right, good. I actually, I woke up, I woke up with no pain for like the first time in a long time. I've Over been using it. Over or under a hundred bucks? Oh, under. It was uh, it was on sale and I had $15 cold cash because I returned some uh, foot uh, insoles that I bought that I didn't right. like. So I think I ended up like, so it was like 40 bucks, 30, 30 something dollars. All right. And, that sounds uh, good. Yeah, it, and it's pretty good. I mean, it, at first you think like it's not going to be good. It's too, you sink in too much. But I think I was using too firm of pillows and it was like making my head like on an angle. So it's not bad. Mark Sanchez uh, is contributing to dinner. Sorry, Johnny. Oh, thank you. know, Mark he's Sanchez, he's very such a, generous. he is such a great guy. He, he, oh, he doesn't have to do anything, right? He doesn't have to help us. He doesn't have to send anything. Oh, Jim just paid me twenty dollars. Jim, thank you so much. I owe you twenty bucks. That's very kind you, of you. You know Jim? No, but I. Well, whoever he is, we owe him. Jim is probably California dreaming. I don't. He, I don't. Maybe we weren't the, supposed to out the him. The fact, like, the fact you know, that they're even. Teslas. Well, the fact that they're even doing that is super nice of them, and we really do uh, appreciate it and use it because we go eat somewhere. You know, we we you know I pick you up, we drive, we go get sushi or whatever. And it just, it helps out. But, you know, uh, what was I talking about? The pillows. Yeah. 
no, there's something else. But anyways, the pillow, the pillow thing, it is a better pillow. It is a little, I feel like the angle's better. And I think I have been sleeping maybe a little better. So Jay I think thinks the, that Asa Akira is on your box. I can't really say much of who Asa Akira is. She's a lovely young lady. Uh, what about her? She looks like the girl on your box. Here's West Coast oh. Ronnie with a $50 super chat. So thank you so wow. much. Wow. We're yeah, very wow. You Last know, that is, week. Oh, I know what I was talking about. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, about no, Mark San Let me just finish my thought about Mark Sanchez yeah. because he has consistently you know, helped and, and chimed in. And we saw him at the whiskey and he brought us wine uh, from Kramer. Kramer Guitars now has a wine company. Yeah. And uh, he signed it for us. He brought it. He drove over there. I mean, it's pay It's hard getting around L.A. If someone asked me to meet them at five o'clock at the whiskey, I would not answer the phone. No. But the fact that he came down, said hi, dropped it off, didn't stick around, said, I got to go. I'll see you guys later. Then he watched the show from like the crowd. You know, he didn't bother anybody. And like, you know, let me get let me get back there. And he was very nice about it. And he's given me lots of things. He's he's given me every time he goes to a concert. He calls me. He might be drinking a little when he calls me, but he, he or, well, he'll message me and he'll say, "Would you like a shirt?" And I feel bad. Well, he, like, he, he's offered me shirts too, which it is kind. He offered me Y and T. I would not wear a Y and T shirt. Well, he, he, I, I got it. I got mine coming because yeah, do you I like think. Y &T? It, well, I, I do, but I think as a guitar player, just the vibe of that, the cool look, I could probably wear that on stage. I think it would look cool. Like I cut the sleeves off. Who's even I, in Y and T? They, they got any members? Manicotti. You know, Brittany Fox just announced a new lineup. <laughs> oh, hold on. Stop the presses. Wait a minute. Who's singing? Is, is Tommy Paris still singing? He's been gone for 20 years. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not it's gonna... Billy Childs and some schmucks. Remember when Billy Childs drove across the USA? <laughs> right. uh, Billy Childs went to play a gig with us in Sacramento. He drove yeah. from the East Coast to, to Sacramento, <laughs> and then he drove back. <laughs> Five-day drive each direction. Hey, look at that. Someone um, bought it. Someone, someone made it for me and gave it to me. Dave, I think Dave. Yeah. Dave. I Wallace. got one of those. Look, this is a Sin City Rejects T-shirt that they made me. Very nice. I don't, I don't know if I could wear my own with myself on there. Is it? I can do Maybe it on I, the show. I mean, I don't know if I – well, I would do it. Why not? Where is that? The airport? Maybe I could sell it. Maybe if somebody would like to contribute, no. they could have it. No, I think I like to keep that one. I think uh, that yeah. it's very self-serving to wear your own shirts. Like, you know, Chip would do that. He would wear enough enough shirts at the airport and on stage. And yeah, I just found a, it. He's a piece of shit. Well, I just find it to be so revolting that it attracts me. You know, it's like it's like if you saw like a real hot girl with one leg. I, I, I Something about it is intriguing. Johnny, uh, Robert. He, this was touches of, uh, for both of us. He says, Buffalo 66 was depressing. Johnny liked it so much he has the poster. I loved it. I loved it so much that I became friends with the guy who uh, made the movie. I That's think one of my favorite 66, movies. It's a masterpiece. masterpiece. I don't find it to be depressing. I, I, don't, I didn't find it to be depressing. I, um, I find um, uh, Brian's song to be depressing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look that up for you young kids. If you don't know Brian's song, go watch that. Tell me you're not going to cry at the end of that. Also, Charlotte's Web. Mm -hmm. they're, old, they're old more yeller. animals in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Old yeller. But uh, Buffalo 66, I don't think it was because at the end, they play the music called Johnny, Sweetness. I don't mean to cut you off, Johnny, but uh, uh, California Dreaming sent a Venmo request to you so he can send oh. you. So you okay. have to uh, do that. And thank you, Oops. California Dreaming, that. if that is your real name. I'm on my phone. Let me see what I have to do here. Oh, I have. You guys have are nice. Notepad. No one has to do this, but it is nice, and no, it's certainly. And, and some, someone yelled at us once. They're like, you know, you guys are in the airport pandering, pandering for money. That's not true. We're providing a service. Yeah. Now this is quality entertainment. It could be way worse. We could be talking about guitars or something like that. I could That'd link. Boring. I can link things that are way worse to watch. Oh, I think I don't know if that would help. Oh. Oh, hold on a second. I don't like how I look. It's going to only get worse. You think Johnny, I should cut what's my hair? interesting about people who don't like the way they look, like I can't stand how I look, but I think you look fine. So maybe we're just, you know, obviously people are hard on themselves. I was going to ask you, Johnny, maybe this trip, because Johnny, we're going on the road. Maybe you mm -hmm. could bring your shears. Uh, oh, yeah. Hairy well, shears. 
somebody said they just really enjoyed your hair. Someone in the comments said, I love your hair. So maybe they like it all witchy. I think it looks, I, I don't know if, about putting it like Wednesday to your head, like the real Wednesday, you know, the girl. Yeah. But but um, if you style it differently, it's going to look differently. The, the length that you got right now is really good. I could maybe chop it up, but then it you're going to look like. Little, it needs a little something. Bring your Billy Shears. Uh, it, it needs a, it needs a little something. It, it's <laughs> Billy Shears. <laughs> That's Michelle a likes thing. it. I will say that, and, and her vote matters the most. But yeah. I think it needs. Uh, uh, I okay, think it needs going on. more. Okay. Going on Venmo uh, here. No, I think it looks really good. I didn't like how it cut it short last time. I mean, I did. Okay, Ingve didn't what? like it, but I liked it. Ingve. Okay, Never now who, who is asking for what happened? Notifications. Confirm. Oh, wait. Confirm. Melissa Fernandez. Um, He's a, is he involved in this too? Is that who we're talking about? What is are talking California about? dreaming her? Maybe it is. Hey, uh, look who's here. The man of the hour. Oh, not, not Jackson's mommy. But Jackson's mommy's okay, too. Uh, Stevie Rochelle is here. And oh. uh, I would like Stevie to come on on a regular basis and break news here and, and talk about it. The James Kotak story is Stevie's story. He did break the story on that, uh, the, the news of James Kotak passing away. I mean, he probably had that obituary written a long time ago uh, and then just had a hit. Uh, send, but, uh, <laughs> sitting, sitting on top of his washing machine. <laughs> Stevie <laughs> bought us sushi uh, last time you were here, Johnny. He was That's very right. Good. And that was very nice of him. He doesn't have to do that. You know, nobody not. has to. He's very, it's very nice. We owe him. How much? We owe him a lot. It's kind of, it was kind of a lot. He sent, sent us a lot. Yes, what if we gave him know, like half of it back? He's a, he is a good guy. I think that sometimes people only know him from Metal Sludge or they think that he's this. Uh, but he's a very nice guy and a family man, and uh, and it's nice to have him uh, to, here to hang out a little bit. Uh, All right, I was gonna Jim, tell him. Jim, and Jim and Melissa both just sent us some food money. All right, and yeah. and I'm going to respond right now. But that is very nice of both of you, Melissa. You didn't have to do that. It's very nice, Jim. Ditto. You guys are That's awesome. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, we owe you something. We... I owe you something. Give me next time you see me in person, remind me, and I'll give you something. Like I probably have something on me that I can give you. Yes, I'll do the same. Uh, I'll give you something of Johnny's. Um, but we, uh, yeah, well, maybe, we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll go live from the, the dinner table for these people who like us so much. Uh, we should do that. We should do person. We should do that, like personal ones where they only them can see it. That's what I'm thinking. They paid for dinner. Um, uh, but I wanted to make a few points, and, and one about Metal Sludge. We're going to be introducing a new feature here on the show called Metal Sludge Presents. Once a month, there will be an interview presented by Metal Sludge, meaning Stevie sort of produces these segments, and I'm looking forward to it. The first guest is a guy named Steve Rosen. And to fans of, especially Van Halen, you know the name Steve Rosen. Um, he was friends with Eddie Van Halen for quite some time. He was a very mm. famous music journalist. He was mm. a, a, one of the main writers at Guitar World in the 80s, like 1984. He had done so many interviews with Eddie and had, or Edward. I don't like people who call him Edward, but uh, whatever. Uh, but I don't became, like when people refer to the person with the first name basis, like when they say Ed, like they, they're friends with them. Right. Now, this guy right. knew him. It's different. But I think other people can sometimes look a little silly. Anyway, mm. he... Uh, he went into his archives and he found all of his old interviews with Eddie. And he would he, he said that Eddie would call him late at night and kind of go into these long tangents that he I believe he recorded them. And oh, he boy. has a book. It's in its third pressing. It's coming soon. And uh, it's called Tone Chaser. And it's really supposed to be one of the best. Oh, books yeah. Yeah. You know, about Eddie Van Halen. So uh, Steve will be here in a metal sludge presents a uh, moment a taskmaster who's also been a long time well viewer. you know that that term um tone chaser is a guitar mm -hmm. thing and it's you know someone that's constantly you know tweaking their sound getting a new pedal adding a head taking out a tube switching a capacitor constantly searching for something that they'll never find like you're chasing this this tone that you'll never get although he found it because his tone still to this day if you watch like some like sound check videos <laughs> he had the best tone. It was just fantastic. What about a straight no chaser, uh, Thelonious Monk? Okay, uh, 
TMZ gave Metal Sledge credit for the James Kotak story. That's impressive. They don't usually like to give credit. So uh, look at that, Stevie. Things are looking up. Um, <laughs> don't worry. Someone else will die soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stevie, people are dropping left and right. Uh, tomorrow, I will interview Kelly Nichols in what will be a, a Metal Sludge interview. It'll be, it'll be sludge worthy. There'll be a lot. I am way more dangerous than him. Just so we're clear. Well, yes, maybe. Uh, 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 and yes, rest in peace, Steve Riley. So I want to point oh, out, uh, let's so give these people a little content. They hate when we just sit and beg for money. Uh, this following week, Johnny, Monaco, and myself uh, on the road again, just the way you want to see us. Of course, Stephen Pierce will be there uh, uh, too. Uh, <laughs> check, take what? a look at Resurrected Rex. A comment. I'm not going to put it up, but it's good. Uh, yeah. I feel like Eric is a. I don't God, give an. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to oh. Read that. well. I thought you said to read it. <laughs> no. Well, not everyone is equipped with the. No. Yeah. Anyway, listen. Uh, next week, Stephen Piercy back in the cellar live. Four shows. We're going to the East Coast. We are going to Baltimore, Maryland. We're going to arrive on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, there will be a show. I'm up to see the sights of Baltimore with anyone watching who would like to join me. Uh, the hotel we are staying at is just a mere feet uh, from the, uh, the aquarium. And I haven't been to that aquarium since I was a small boy. Uh, uh, so that's Baltimore on the 17th. The, the place is called uh, Hammerjacks. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. I put, oh. <laughs> is, that, is, is Hammerjack still around? I don't think I, so. I played there a couple times. That was a big place. Legend, legendary Baltimore spot. Uh, it's called Rams Head Live. The next day, we are going to uh, head over to Philadelphia, basically. We're going to be in Kenswick, Pennsylvania, 10 minutes from downtown Philly. I'm going to go do some, uh, some interesting stuff uh, that, for the channel that I can't say exactly, but you're going to like it. And then after Philly, we're going to head to uh, 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 Uncasville. Uh, Johnny, you and I are very popular in Uncasville. Yeah, that, uh, that Italian restaurant was overpriced. You know, well, yeah, you know um, when you talk about Baltimore, um, you know who's from there? Kicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Edgar guess. Allen Poe. Good, pretty good. Keep going. Buried there. Uh, Hey, dummy, you got your pants on backwards. Oh, of course. That's right. John Waters. We could actually go to that location. <laughs> that is right. John Waters. That's the main thing. I, every time I go to Baltimore, that's all I could think about. Yeah, of course. Yep. You know, everyone thought uh, I was uh, insulting people at, at the um, they got stupid mixed up. thing. They didn't yeah. understand. Uh, yeah. I should say that uh, this, uh, hold on. Peach, uh, uh, I just want a cheesesteak. Johnny. We might have to go have a cheesesteak. What most people oh. do is you go to, there's two places. There's Pat's mm. and there's mm. Gino's. And what you do is you get one from Pat's and you get one from Gino's. Then we split it so we can see which one was better. I believe one of them has the cheese whiz, <laughs> the, the sauce, and then the other one has the actual cheese. There's a mm. big Philly debate about which is better. Uh, yeah. Well, so that's uh, I wanted to point that out, and I'll get to Jen's question. She's nice enough to super chat. Um, so that's the uh, that that's Uncasville, which is the Mohican Sun in Connecticut. My father is, is threatening to be there, which will be fantastic. He's what? About, what? Yeah, yeah. He's saying he's him and my uncle. <laughs> what are he's threatening? Uncle. Well, I mean, I don't think he's really going to show up, but uh. he says he's coming. He says he's not going to watch the show. The show's too late for him. Uh, it's too late he's for really me. A, he's really a Vixen fan. Uh, no, I'm kidding. But uh, mm -hmm. so anyway, I, my, he'll be there. And then the following day, we are going to go to, uh, you never say it right. It's Long Island. We're going to Long Island. Last time me and Johnny were in Long Island, I went to the Amityville Horror House. And Johnny had no clothes, no nothing, got stranded in a hotel. So hopefully this time. I had a, I had a walk to get dinner in the rain. And I put garbage bags on me because I didn't have right. an umbrella. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, Resurrected Rex points out that Pat's dogs from the Cinderella <laughs> commercial. 
I think Pat's Chili Dogs might not be Pat's Cheesesteaks. I'd have to look into it. But there's a great commercial of old Cinderella. This is when they were still members of Brittany Fox and Cinderella, a different lineup. But they did a commercial for Pat's Chili Dogs in Philly. So I'm going to see if I can find that location uh, for you also. When are they in Baltimore? Well, you mean we uh, will be there on the 17th uh, and the 18th, mainly the 18th. 18th is the show. Yeah, there you go. Uh, have your friend, the armchair detective on soon. I'm going to invite him. Nick was very popular. Nick is, has a show about true crime and he's an expert on, uh, serial, uh, things. And he's an expert on, and so maybe he'll be there and, and you'll get to see him and Holden, uh, as well. Uh, uh, Pats and Geno's are for tourists. Just ask people on the street. Well, look, that's always true, but we are tourists and we're trying to produce content. And that is why you don't want to see us just go to, you know, uh, uh, Freddy's in some bad neighborhood. You want to see mm. us go to Pat's and Gino's. Freddy's. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, hold on. Now, Jen had a very important question about Johnny's feet. Do Johnny's feet still hurt while playing shows? You know what? I was wearing those boots for a while and they're very pointy. And I, I, I think that was the problem. And I'm not used to wearing heels because, man. And um, I mean, I don't know. I need better shoes. I do need something cool that is better for stage. The ones I have now are falling apart. So still hurts a little bit. Yeah. Uh, just watch the Robert Sweet interview. Is that Johnny? I, I mean, I think those are two separate thoughts. That uh -huh. that person uh, right there, that's Johnny. Robert Sweet uh, was an interview, and I'm glad you watched it. Thank you, Daniel. He's a channel member. It was a yeah. fun interview. I said he's reclusive. He said he's not, but he's, he, doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't hang out. Said that? said that? He said he's not? He said he's not, <laughs> and then he drew the blinds and turned the lights out. Right. <laughs> was he dressed as the Invisible Man? I. They won't let me in a church. Last time, it didn't go well. So. Did you? Do you have a favorite Striper song? I mean... Mine are kind uh, of predictable. I, yeah, I like, I like the main. I like the ones you know, the ones I like. Yeah, I like uh, 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 the Hell with the Devil and Soldiers Under Command. Those are great. But no, I like the call, one, Calling on You. Calling on Calling you, on calling you, you. That's a good one. And good one. I there's a song called No More Hell to Pay, which is from a later record. That's very good. Uh, they I make good records still, and they are going in the studio to make a new record uh, right now. Did you know that? I didn't know that. They got another record. Even though this record that's out right now is called The Final Battle. I told him, maybe you should have saved that. How do you top The Final Battle? Well, maybe yeah. they're, you know, they're, how do you, what do you mean? You just re, re resurrect. Julie thinks you need docs. I have a lot of docs here. You still got to break them in. You know, that's, that's the problem. I have every you pair can't of docs. Wear, I think she said Crocs. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm not wearing Doc Martens. Oh, she did say Docs. But someone else said Crocs right above. Maybe he'll let me wear Crocs. You know who wears Crocs on stage? Who? Ted Nugent. Yeah, yeah. Well, he kills Crocs. And, too. and, and, and they and they were camouflaged colored. Oh, can't say that. They were the striper, camouflaged. The Striper album will be electric. But they're doing a tour, a tour called To Hell with the Amps. And they're going to do a little acoustic thing. I asked Robert if he planned on playing sideways during the acoustic show. He hasn't decided. And by sideways, you mean drunk? Uh, someone said, which of the Striper albums do you like? I already said it. I like one called No More Hell to Pay. Here's and, to uh, you, Mr. Potato. <laughs> yeah, some people don't like Captain Creamstain is not a Striper fan. It's not. Right, let's well, see. We've not talked enough about that. Not so. everything is for everybody. Right. If you want to see it. We, yeah, Get on your arc. That's not true. Yeah. We talk a little uh, bit about uh, Jesus in the interview as well. Who? No, I thought you can't say that. No, no, he's the guy who works downstairs. Hey, Zeus, he's the. Never mind. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, that's, that's something. Good, you know, name, Eric name says maybe this is an odd question. So without even reading it, I just select it. How often do you two dye your hair? I will be 50 in April and have embraced time. That's a good, that's a fair question. Obviously, Johnny and I, well, I'm dying. I have, my embraced, I have embraced time. It's very poetic. It almost sounds Eric, like are you, right are you going to uh, start dying? Is that what you're getting at? You know, Eric, 
I I've been dyeing my hair since you know earlier on because I just like to add color to it and make it pop a little bit and do something unnatural, like parting a C. But you know, in this case, I am getting some grays. And although some people can, you can embrace it in like Bon Jovi or even Butch Walker lately, you know, yeah, you can go out with gray hair now, as long as you bring in it and you look cool. It's almost kind of in to have some gray, you know, Silver Fox. Me personally, I just think I end up looking like um, Dudley Moore or uh, Al Pacino or something. So I... I, uh, do do that and as i'm sure as you do because we like to have a you know a little bit of a pop to it how often well hair grows a half inch a month so how much growth do you want to show if you have it long you can get away with it if it's short you got to keep doing it because they could see it right away so it depends on the cut and the color right i Jason? probably do it every three weeks uh, my hair That's grows right. really fast and even that is pushing it. I use shitty store bought dye. Johnny uh, is a salon uh, type. So, uh, and people do rec- remember that Johnny did dye his hair on this show. Okay. I want to fly through some questions because, uh, and then we're going to go eat. Uh, there are a lot of comments here. I mean, I, I we, we're really behind. I, I don't even know. Right, let me knock a few of these out. Have you seen Exorcist Believer yet? I have. I spoke about it briefly on the show with uh, uh sean and i think wednesday i uh, uh most did. people most people say it's terrible i liked it uh i mean i liked it for a movie that's terrible it's entertaining enough johnny might even like it uh, i like I anything johnny- anything exorcist i think it's terrifying and i think it's really good and also the earth isn't six thousand years old so it's all fiction it's the kind of thing that you would, you would like to watch on a plane you know what i mean that's when we have time to watch movies exorcist believer is uh that's right it's good and there's, yeah, a, there's, a, there's a twist at the end, a big surprise, spoiler, if you will. There is? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, so, I'm interested now. I'll go watch that. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's, you know, it's good for a bad movie. That, that's what mm-hmm. I try to tell people. If you go in expecting it to be the original movie, it doesn't work. There's a different premise to it, and uh, it's not yeah. the best. I, I don't need to watch it again, but it was entertaining once. Okay. Uh, have you ever thought about interviewing Bo, Bocott about Grimmett? Uh, uh, or Grimace. Uh, uh, Nick Bocott has been on the show. Nick Bocott is my guitar teacher, or was. He taught me, uh, made me the musician that I am. He taught me uh, Rock You to Hell. And he told me that Speak of the Devil is one of the best guitar albums. It's Ozzy's best guitar album. That's Brad Gillis on that record. Resource no, I got my and, uh, reservations about him. And when I took my, which, who? Brad Gillis? Mm-hmm. Well, we have to see him coming up, so maybe it'd be nice. Uh, he, but, won't, he won't remember me, like much like he know. did at the House of Blues. <laughs> that might be true. Uh, but uh, uh, but I wanted to learn all these punk songs, and he insisted that if I learned the punk songs, I also had to learn Heaven and Hell. And, oh, and, yeah. That's a good one. And it's great. And it's, it's Oh, I fun. love that I, song. I was lucky to, to, to have him as a teacher. He's been on the show. And maybe he'll come back and talk about uh, uh, Steve Grimmett passing. Very sad diabetes, I, uh, I believe. Oh boy. I will also point out my A1C is down. That is a great, that's great news. Oh, right. that Jardian commercial. That woman that's prancing around in that outfit, like smiling, like she's excited that she's got diabetes. I don't With get that it. stupid song. And she's so overweight and she's jumping around and happy that these drugs have, instead of doing it, you know, hmm the drugs brought it down and now she's happy that she has diabetes mm-hmm. so much so that y- y- she's spinning in circles it's it's sickening it's i terrible. hate that commercial I every time i see a commercial i like, turn it off it angers me well one thing i've learned about diabetic medication is that if it's new don't take it you shouldn't take any medicine that just came out yesterday <laughs> and has a longer <laughs> list of side effects <laughs> Than it does, you know. Sometimes, you know, with all the uh, the diarrhea and and, and 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 limbs, and one of the ones that I took, uh, a diabetic medicine that I stopped right away, was known to cause gangrene of the genitals. <laughs> well, you know, you never know when you're going to meet someone who finds that attractive, like deep in the jungle. Mm-hmm. 
So I is that I gang green I see on your testicles? <laughs> Why it certainly is. Rafa, I'm a Tesla. I got gang green on my genitalia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a tricky one. So. Mm -hmm. Any Sully Erna or Shannon Larkin? Uh, probably not. Uh, Godsmack, really not my thing. By the way, 400 people watching right now. My, here's my rule on the show. I won't <laughs> interview some... What's the matter, John? No, I was just thinking about some guy that I keep seeing posts of. It's not that band. It's another band. Is it Joe... Joe Sly, is it Saliva? No, is it... Joseph. So Joseph. His name is Josie. Yeah, oh, that guy. There's something about a neatly trimmed beard that just drives me into madness. Well, I'm with you. My rule about interviews on the show is that it has to be someone that, one, I'm interested in and that I'm interested in their story. Uh, it doesn't matter how famous somebody is or how many records they've sold. We've had people on here who are known for being session players and things like that, and they've had incredible uh, stories. So it helps if I'm a fan of the band, but, it, you know, uh, I don't go out and hunt these guests down. A lot of people come to me. I also don't do the move where you have to please a publicist. Uh, I mean, I've pleased a few in my life, if you know what I mean. But, uh, <laughs> Get that. Thank you. I'll be here all week. But, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, some people, what you do is you say yes to every interview, and then you're talking to hardcore bands and thrash bands mm -hmm. and foreign mm -hmm. bands and <laughs> And for somebody, those might be a good thing. But for me, I like to stick to things that I find interesting and that I think the audience uh, will find interesting. Uh, people tell me they like these interviews and things because it feels natural and it feels like conversation. It's because I'm interested in the people I'm talking to. And so that's, right. that's why some people make it and some people don't. What do you got there, Johnny? Just cleaning off my keyboard. Johnny Rummy is here. Uh, Rummy, thank you for contributing fun some people will be very upset about that that johnny and i are going to eat uh they oh, said how about a punk version of achy broke breaky heart johnny can do the solo doesn't sound like my thing necessarily but uh mm. you mm. never know not that right no we could but not that i'm not that racist <laughs> i think there's more fun songs i like the idea of taking a song that's not normally punk rock stacy i yeah. am not drunk she wants to know if i'm drunk well, i'm just uh, i'm fasting he Much has like, a drinking problem, though. Uh, I do have a drinking class. If you'll notice, I have not drank much of my brandy. It has barely gone down at all. Yeah. He's kind of interesting. See? The potato, on the other hand, hammer. He's strong. Yeah. He, he's been, like, telling me, like, he's like, so this French fry walks into a bar with this sausage. And I'm like, I've heard this one. <laughs> not funny. We've been Dana's drum interview will be coming soon where he's waiting for something to announce or promote. His one just come on and shoot the shit. He's also a bit reclusive. Uh, yeah, except uh, except when he goes to the airport in his um jogging outfit. Then not so much. Yes. But but he's uh, but he's incognito. And most people don't know that he that's the great Dana Strum in a jogging outfit. As I he is incognito. I've, I've seen some videos from the past. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, uh, I, I like the guy. I like the guy. It's, uh, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. What else do we have? Well, Joe, I think Joe has had enough. Okay, guys, have a good night. Uh, Some people can't take this kind of humor. I get it. Great cat. People would like to see the great cat. He's got maybe, potato breath. And maybe the great cat will be a uh, uh, back. I think you've got a potato famine going on over He's there. He's got this. He has potato breath. He's been drinking nonstop. Um, He's like, don't, don't put me in the fryer. Don't worry. We will never part. You, I will never throw you over the balcony. At oh, a Mark Sanchez is back. Hold on. Mark Sanchez, any chance you play a live show this year, I would like to see you play. Uh, I, okay, I, Jason. I, I think so. I think so. I would like to do a, a charity event at a good venue and, uh, and put together a, a lineup of people that I think uh, are, are, are interested in this, so it could happen. I oh, I thought he meant. I thought he meant just by yourself, like just to play the bass for an hour. <laughs> Maybe I could do an acoustic <laughs> show. Uh, uh, only if it's is it going to be all rush? Because I'll watch that. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but it could happen. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this potato wait. keeps eyeballing me. With keep... 400 people, it is very hard to keep up. Um, uh, oh, Mr. Potato Head. Uh, Monaco <laughs> appears to have ingested a few funny pills tonight, or he drank some drinks <laughs> pre-show. I, right. I, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm. I'm just. I'm not. This is. He, this he, is he it. Normally talks to potatoes. This is. This is Todd Kearns. Why would someone, make, why would someone, just, why would someone just posted Todd Kearns? Oh, all right. Well, hi, Paul. Uh, I don't. Oh, is he? Maybe he thinks Johnny is Todd Kearns. Yeah, I'm Todd Kearns. I like Todd Kearns. You know, you know, listen, the other day, or was it today? It was today when someone messaged me and said, it was awesome seeing you again. Loved watching you pl play the four strings. This has happened over and over. It happened with um, someone who, um, from Corey from Vamped. They think I'm Johnny Martin. Yeah, that I, person I don't, doesn't, I don't, that person you mentioned doesn't like me. And we have I don't to understand go it. We have to go there. Kip Winger is sending things to my house. When he's in town, when he comes to Vegas, he sends things to my house. Oh, jeez. He asked me today if I had any animals. I think maybe he's allergic. Who, Johnny Martin? Kip Winger. Uh, oh. what, what, uh, okay. he's, coming, he's coming to your house? Well, to, he's going to have to pick up the things that he sends here. I, hope, you know, I don't think he's trafficking. <laughs> Here's no. to you, potato head. So Stephen Pierce, he sells his signature pick at the merch booth. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a Stephen little Pierce, free. He doesn't have a signature pick, but Johnny, Johnny has a signature pick, and you can pick that. I'm a little free, <laughs> but Stephen doesn't uh, doesn't. Have <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 Miss Mr. Casmo points out that vodka is made from potatoes. That is why he doesn't feed it. He's giving it a whiskey. That's it that's <laughs> if it was that, vodka. That's no, right. He's not. You know, I went to Kohl's the other day. I told you I went to Kohl's and I bought that pillow. And I bought some pants that I think are really going to be a big hit at the airport. And I also bought a shirt, like a top, long sleeves. Um, it's very cool. It's back there. I, whenever I buy stuff, I put it on my new chair. I garbage picked that chair, but it's very cool. So I put the new clothes out because I lay it out. Because if I look at it and I decide maybe the next day I don't like it, I, to keep the tags on, I can always bring it back. But so far, I I like I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Paul would like to see Todd on the show. I understand, and and, and maybe oh, who wouldn't want to see Todd Kearns on the show? Maybe. Yeah, well, Ramona is a Todd fan. Took rocks, and uh, could happen. Wait, I've seen him not on. too long ago, and uh, you never know. Bill? We didn't speak. I managed him once. Uh, we didn't speak for a while, uh, but who knows? Could happen. He's was more like kind of law, law thing going on there. Yeah. There may what have happened? been. Oh, you got a, we got a law book. Um, no, I just got an alert. Whenever I get alert, it goes ching ching. That you probably hear that in your sleep. But whenever I hear ching ching, Great, I know something. Someone has. <laughs> and Bill Brown, Billy Brown. You know who that? You know whose name is Billy Brown? No, Jason. Billy Brown. Yeah, the, from Stranger Things. She plays no. Eleven. Millie Bobby no, Brown. No. I, Bill, Buffalo 66. Oh, oh yeah. I never would have remembered that. So anyways, Did Billy he Brown he just sent a $10 to the sushi fund. Again, okay. Billy, thank you. Didn't have to do that. I do appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Thank you. I'm going to thank him right now on the internet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a great. Maybe you can just take them right now. What? Well, I'm, I'm doing it again. Could just, you just interview on... someone from EZO in Japanese? Uh, well, I would interview someone from EZO, but I don't think I could do it in Japanese. But if someone wanted to translate, I could. Somebody makes you don't a good. Think? Yeah. Well, I could try. Absolutely. No. no, Japanese is very is a very hard language. Brent it's Muscat. Like... Brent Muscat speaks it fluently, so it can't be that hard. Uh, that's Muscat. because. That's only because he rules his house with an iron fist. And he was looking to uh, uh, get with Asian women. <laughs> That's what I said. Yes. Well, I was trying to say it nicer. A lot mm. of people say uh, if if I could have Phil Lewis on, anything is possible. It might be true. That was a phony interview. It, well, it wasn't much of an interview. It was more of a... You know, he popped in. He says he'll come back for an elaborate interview. I'd like to have him. 
Uh, but Kelly Nichols first. That's tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. Paul, thank you so much, Paul. Much appreciated. Well, thank you. Uh, okay. Right. Chad is going to watch thinking, Michael Myers. I always like I'm to thinking, watch Michael Myers. Just thanked Billy. Mm -hmm. We are really using technology to its fullest. Duff Don't McKagan you? has a band. I, I, I love Duff McKagan as a bass player. I haven't really found his music that interesting, and I doubt he would come on this uh, show. Uh, hold on. Uh, Stevie Rochelle in, in with the fun fact. Tough supported Ezio at the Omni in Oakland circa 1989. It was awesome. That's pretty cool. So you could, somebody was at the Tough uh, Ezio show. I think it, this is a better way to do it, by the way. Yeah. But it's, a, um, it's, I can't tell you why we can't always do it, if you know what I mean. Because, okay. uh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry if this, shh. They, they they want their cut, and if they find out that you went around their cut, uh, uh, you get what I'm saying. A potato. Well, I uh, I um, I'm reading some of these here. Riley's Johnny Johnny Guns did not cancel. They're going to be performing at the Mohican Sun uh, uh, next week. I believe it's on Friday. The bill mm -hmm. is L.A. Uh, Riley's L.A. Guns, Vixen, Quiet Riot, and Stephen Piercy. Uh, it's in an arena. If the arena fits 45,000 people, <laughs> no problem. So get your tickets now because it Before will sell it out. Before it sells out. out. Yeah, this yeah. Time I don't <laughs> it, will, it will sell out. Uh, the I last time. About the whiskey. I will tell yes. you, I will tell you that uh, uh, New York is, is right now. Tickets are moving fast. Uh, I think, yeah. I think this are, there's a lot of excitement to see back in the cellar. Oh, it's awesome. I love playing those songs. The last time an arena sold out, it was a Nuremberg rally. I mean, let me see here. I, I have seen some that. stuff here. Yeah, I know people don't remember that. I see something here. Um, we've seen, there's a lot of comments that we're missing, but let me, David let me try Jordan, to. David Jordan, you, you, you've saved the comment, Johnny. Jason, would you consider Sebastian Bach or Don Dawkins? Everyone and their mother has interviewed Don Dawkins and asked them the same questions. I mean, I would consider it, but I don't want to ask the same thing that everyone's already done. And uh, how do you have a straight face when he tells you that he's still out there performing great? And then you see the videos of him doing spoken word. It's tough. Sebastian Bach, I would love to have on. I see him all the time. We're going to see him on mm -hmm. a cruise in a few weeks. I'm going to hit him up again. Uh, mm -hmm. I consider him a friend. I've been over to his house. but uh, Really? Yeah, but he's strange uh, about doing things. I I have purposely not had the other members of Skid Row on, so uh, we'll see. Could happen. Uh, Johnny's being hilarious tonight, says Kelly Valentine. Well, well, I, I do what I can. I there are a lot of comments that are very very nice comments, and I'm we're not addressing them because there's so many. But um, there's some questions in there that I would like to answer. Um, Johnny, a guy called Nine is here, and he's concerned about, about that you were mean to Josie. This is Josie's bass player, uh, not Josie Pearl, uh, 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 but Josie uh, the, uh, and the, uh, Josie the Outlaw, whatever it was called, Outlaw Josie Wales, <laughs> the, the guy from Saliva. Oh, <laughs> anyway, he enjoyed it. Johnny, lights out for Johnny. You guys mm -hmm. remember a movie called Johnny Dangerously? It was a really mm -hmm. great movie. You remember it, Johnny? Is there a reason your lights are out, Johnny? Is there a reason your lights are out and nobody's home? All right. Johnny will be back when he gets a chance. Uh, become a channel member and get a Jason Green autograph. That is true. Uh, not a channel member, a Patreon. But I mean, I, I, I mean, I could sign something for anybody who wanted. Paul says uh, he saw, I'm going to take Johnny out until he's ready to come back. Uh, I saw Johnny playing with his band. Uh, Kurt, excuse me. I saw Kurt Frolic play with his band in Vegas 20 years ago. That's where I met him. I met Kurt at least 20 years ago. And, uh, well, yeah, something like that. And I thought he was great and uh, was happy to recommend him to see the late Steve Riley. Uh, oh, well, uh, no, Johnny's signal's still not working. Johnny, would you play lead guitar for Steven, uh, Sebastian Bach? Uh, I don't know. 
I mean, if they call Johnny, would probably do it. I mean, they have somebody now, but if they need Johnny, I mean, he'd be available. Nobody uh, needs uh, me. There's a metal sludge d deal going on. Hold on. Buy any hoodie or vinyl in the metal sludge store tonight, and I'll be happy <laughs> to add some awesome color postcards. But no, I will not forge any other signatures like some other signers do. Oh, I know what he's talking about. So, but anyway, if you guys go to Metal Sludge and then you pick out a, a hoodie or a record, I have the record around here somewhere. Uh, he'll he'll uh, be happy. To, he'll sign it for you, I'm sure. But he'll also throw in some color postcards, uh, and that's a deal just for you guys watching. And uh, unlike some bands who sign everyone else's names. You will only get it signed uh, by Steve. You, you know, you know who used to do that. I was affiliated with someone who did that. Oh, did he do your signature? Oh yeah, he used to do previous uh, band members, and then later on mine. And um, did he look? Did he look like Big Bird? Yes. So, if, uh, if people are, yeah. All right. You, uh, but the real deal, you have to come directly to me. Yeah. Johnny Dangerously was a movie starring Michael Keaton and Joe Piscopo. I feel like it might have been a Chicago movie. I could be wrong, but it's a mob movie. Hmm. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Well, it was set in 1924. Uh, uh, Johnny was only three. Uh, <laughs> Funny. Uh, hilarious. <laughs> All right. Any chance of coming to New Jersey? Well, I mean, we're getting pretty close. Uh, we're going to be in Philly. And we're going to be in Baltimore. Uh, there is no Jersey date as of right now. I recommend you come to one of those. Come to Mohican Sun. Mohican Sun is great. Emotional support potato. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anything's possible. All right. Are you going to see Beetlejuice too? Of course. Of course. Uh, I was going to go see that Von Eric movie if I have the time. I, uh, you know about that, Johnny? I don't know wrestling. what that is. Oh, it's yeah. A it's a wrestling family. Everybody tragically passed in that movie, in that family. There was so much tragedy, they had to cut one of the brothers' deaths out of the movie. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. I um, <clears throat> I, I remember the, the movie The Wrestler. That was really good, too. Yes, there's a rat song in The Wrestler. Really? Uh, somebody says, how about Rumble? I just don't think that people care about things like what, Rumble. What is, what is Rumble? Well, it, it, there was a movie called The Outsiders, and the Greases and the Socias. What oh, they do oh is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They meet in an alley, and then they fight it out. And sometimes people bring switchblades. I like to do YouTube. Some people say I should have all these other accounts. I mm -hmm. like to do it here. People enjoy mm -hmm. this. It's easy. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to have to go to the second location. Once you go to the second location, nothing <laughs> good. It doesn't end well. You know, that movie, The Warriors, still mm -hmm. to this day resonates with me. Yeah. Oh, um, I grew up in that area. And, and yeah, I get it. And speaking of switchblades, you know, you can buy them now uh, anywhere. Switchblades? You could, yeah, you can get one on Amazon. Mm. Yeah, the, in the movie, uh, Rebel Without a Cause, yeah. which starred James Dean. Mm -hmm. And an actor named Sal Minio. Sal Minio was tragically stabbed in Hollywood. Uh, no, never unsolved mystery. Also, the father of James Dean in that movie was played by Mr. Magoo himself, Jim Backus, Thurston Howell III for you Gilligan's Island fans. But oh, anyway, yeah. a, in that movie, James Dean throws a switchblade over the end, and they said people for ages were going around with metal detectors trying to find it. <laughs> somebody has there was multiples and someone had one in auction there so that's awesome uh, yeah. yeah a lot no, of you people buy, are you could buy switchblades nowadays they're called automatic knives and uh i don't know what you would do at one but they're cool to you know any i i have a coogan, or something like that any chance of coogan coming on Talk about how he picks up all the chicks at the gigs. Well, I, I, <laughs> I mm. is a married man. I don't think he's picking up anybody. But mm. uh, mm. but he will mm. come on. Yeah, he, he we, we just haven't got around to it, but he'll do it. I don't know if he's ever done one of these kind of things. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 
I'm going through this. Then we're going to get the hell out of here. Uh, Johnny said, did we make enough money to have a dinner? Yeah, actually, we we're did. over. And it's very, very nice of the people to do that. I mean, between what you got over there and what I have over here, we for sure can get like like four bologna sandwiches. Okay. I don't eat bologna, but no, we're going for sushi. Um, it's getting kind of late. Johnny, when did you tour with Enough's Enough? Well, my time with that band, unfortunately, is over because I did enjoy the songs and I did enjoy. Well, what the were the years? Oh, um, 1996 to 2016 with a little bit of a break, like maybe a year or two off because Donnie came back and I was like, I'm just going to leave that alone. And then when he left again, they called me back. So I was in the band playing guitar from 96 to like 2000. We did the Glam Slam Metal Jam with Poison and Quiet Riot with Kevin Dubrow and Warrant with Janie Lane. And it was awesome. I got yelled at a lot on that tour by um, by the Poison guys. You know, CC DeVille reprimanded me and then I gave him a guitar lesson. So that, that whole time was fine. And then he left at 2000. Donnie left. We had a tour come up with Eric Martin, who was really insufferable at the time he was nice but i didn't know him then and um he um we opened for them and he was like where's donnie because donnie had quit the day before and he's like well chip's like you want to still do it you want to sing i'm like i don't even know the words you can do it learn it on the bus I'm like i guess i had to learn the words on the bus on the way to san antonio texas you see and uh we got there and i was a little nervous because it was a three-piece and it never done be done before i was doing two jobs and we did it and it sounded so good eric martin was like why don't you guys open or close or do whatever you want it sounds great i'm like wow thanks and uh we did that and then that went on for seven or eight years hmm, little stint people forget about that and then um donnie came back and then i left and then donnie left and then i came back and then the other guitar player was involved for a little bit. It was a four piece for a while. And um, uh, Randy Scott was the drummer for a little bit. After Johnny Ricky. was on uh, the daytime TV show you mentioned was Jenny Jones. Johnny appeared on Jenny Jones. Uh, uh, he There was a paternity test. Johnny came out okay. And then he also performed with Enough's Enough. And that's hmm. on YouTube. You can check it out. I'm going to post that one. I've, I've been posting um, backlog uh, videos lately. Just because I find stuff that I thought should be out there, you know, so I post it and I'm going to post that one. The best uh, lineup of Enough's Enough, other than the original, would be the lineup on that show, which would be uh, Johnny on lead guitar, Donnie V, Chips Enough, and, and Ricky Parent, I believe, at that yeah. point. Oh, he was so good on drums. Yeah. He was but, a natural. I mean, he was the best since Vic, you know, and... Uh, it's unfortunate what happened there. It's just a, it's too bad because I would have, you know, liked to have still been involved. But uh, sometimes you don't quit the band; you quit the people. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, I, I, I now Seth has a new drummer. That's an, I can't believe it. They do have a new drummer. He's a local guy. He looks like a young guy who's got a good opportunity now to go. How out is play. he going to survive on fifty dollars a day? Well, I think when you're young like that, you don't need much. Like yeah, now I, I need like expensive pillows and shirts and you know, whatever else I'm buying. I need those things. I need to go on Amazon and get whatever I want. But when you're young, you don't need that stuff. A couple morsels. But you get to go to Europe. They're going to Europe. They're going to Ooh. all over the country. It's very exciting. I remember when I did it, it was very exciting. You know, you, it's a little cold in those countries. And they don't put their butter in the refrigerator and they have radiators. And sometimes you got to drive in a van for like days to get to Italy. But if you can do all that, you're going to have a great time. Me, personally, I need to be more pampered now. I need to stay at, like, the Hyatt. I need my own room. Um, I need to uh, have uh, expense accounts and uh, soft clothing to lounge before I perform my performance. And uh, All right. We've, we're coming up on 90 minutes, 400 people are tuned in uh hopefully you've enjoyed it johnny it took an absence for a while and he's gonna pop up from time to time uh I, he was nice enough to join us 
today. Obviously, I uh, wanted that sushi. Uh, uh, hold on. Thanks, question, question for Johnny from Stevie Rochelle. What are your thoughts on the guitar playing in the Dave's Killer Bread commercials? I don't know. I, I know about that bread because I had some. It was very expensive. It's like seven dollars. Uh, it's organic. It's bullshit. I have and, a Ezekiel. Um, I bought Ezekiel bread today, Johnny. Oh, that is. But I don't. It's I don't really. Bowl. I don't know, Stevie. I don't. I don't know what that is. I will have to look it up. I'll have to. I'll have to watch it. If it's. I mean, I'm, there's a lot of good guitar players out there right now. Young kids can play. They can't do other stuff like you know interact with me at starbucks or give me my correct change or you know say don't say no problem when there shouldn't be a problem when i just ask you to do one easy thing you can't do that but they could play some scales so we'll see google it All there right. are ripping he's guitars gonna, in the gonna, deck. Right, he's gonna check it out and uh okay. Kings of Butler, yeah it's a possibility the brass knuckles are retired from steven he is now uh back to mm. the rat mode the brass mm. knuckles were associated with the solo band. Oh yeah. And so no brass knuckles. That's what he said. I, I don't. Is that what he said? That's what he said. I didn't notice he wasn't using that. They've been gone for a while. I'm glad because he would. They would take him away at the airport all the time. Uh, I may catch you and Stephen in Ken Keswick. Keswick. I apologize. Still pending. Oh yeah. Well. Okay. Well, we hope that, that out. works tickets out. Are going, tickets are going fast. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. There are so many comments here. I'm trying to, to get to some. I mean, some of these things are. Joe Manick says that's getting older. And in a way, you're right. But you have to realize getting older is a byproduct of the problem. It's it's just, you know, after a while, you're like, you know, why? You know, yes, you're getting older, but there's also things that could be done more efficient and better. And maybe you feel you deserve, not deserve, but like, you know gotten to a place in your life so yes it is you do you are older at that point but some guys continue to be older and still do that stuff so it's all it's all levels levels uh all right so anyway last chance for you guys to get in your comments last chance for you to get into the dinner fund uh, and if you don't want to do any of those things, you can become a channel member or a Patreon member. Alexandra Soto is getting in on the action, and I'm going to, uh, 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 I'm always happy to talk to a young woman. Aww. Uh, you because guys are awesome. awesome. One. Sorry. You okay. guys are awesome. One. Subscribed a while back before Johnny joined. Well, Johnny's been here. He comes and goes. He's, he's been here a long time. Uh, then Stevie Rochelle comes on, who I've known from Meadow Sludge. And Stevie's been on and comes and goes as well. Uh, first heard of Johnny on Metal Sludge back in the day. Uh-oh, I can only imagine what you heard. He, he, he mainly comes. And he also uh, posted a, back in the day. I, ha I got the FU award. Thank you. That's right. And um, he put me in a fur and made fun of me for uh, – maybe it wasn't him. It might have been the other guy at the time. But I did get the FU award. Uh, people, the young kids don't know what that means. But back in the day, there was an award that they would give to people who they felt deserved it. I don't really don't know what I did. But uh, they, they made fun of me. Ex extreme fun. But now we're friends. It's it's. Burden. You know, Johnny, it's funny. The Metal Sledge gave away those awards. They had one called the Super Bowls Award. And mm -hmm. uh, Brent Muscat won the Super Bowls Award for a tour diary he wrote while he was on tour with Enough's Enough. I oh, actually yeah. wrote I actually wrote the tour diary. Uh, oh. You know, and a lot of people said there's no way that Brent Muscat could write like that, and they were correct. <laughs> so Brent would take pictures, and then I would write the story each night, and we send it in. I mean, Brent would say yes or no to stuff, but I will tell you a few of the things he uh, uh, he talked about. One of the members of Enough's Enough uh, smoking a substance out of a light bulb in the back of the bus. I know yeah. who it is. Yeah. Uh, do but you I don't him, know, do him. Do you and him still talk? Who? You and him, Brett. Brett. I do not speak to Brett Muscat, no. So I is would. that going to happen to us? I hope not. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think maybe one day we talk less because that does happen. 
but I mm. think we have a lot in common. I think we're both kind of angry people. Uh, whereas, uh, uh, yeah. I bring light. I bring light. Lately, I've been. This is the kinder, more gentle. Um, I bring light and positivity to people's lives. The person with the light bulb, by the way, might not be the person that you're thinking of, because I think more than one person may have been partaking in that light bulb. I think I pulled a back muscle. The substance oh. was, was cracked. <coughs> from one of the yeah, no, uh, I know who it, I know who it is because him and uh, Stephen Adler took all the lights out of the uh, house we were renting here in Las Vegas when we were recording. Okay. But they don't do that yeah. anymore, allegedly. Uh, Someone says Brent M is not listed in Enough's Enough. Well, he wasn't in Enough's Enough. The tour was a metal sludge tour. It was called the Metal Sludge Something Jam. <laughs> what? Listen, you... There's a there's an Enough's Enough Wicca page about a about a tour. You guys did a tour called yeah. the Metal Sludge Sleaze Jam Glam Slam. No, that's get the words. Come on, get it right. I have no idea. You tell me. There's been a couple of those. I think the one you're referring to is the MSX, Metal Sludge. I think they called it MSX See, something. He's here. He's Metal Sludge. So yeah, he should know it. it. He's the one who put the thing together. Yes. I was just he, out there. And I think DJ Ashbo was involved at that time. And at that time, he didn't have a water line. So who, who was the third band? Pretty Boy Floyd or, or uh, Bullet Boys? Boys? <laughs> the Bullet Boys. Well, yeah, I, I metal, know. metal, metal sludge extravaganza. But wasn't it MSX? Wasn't it like? You know, I think that was the merchandising. But Stevie has to tell us who was on it. I know that in, uh, enough, enough led by you, right? You were. I, yeah, yes, I have it. Oh, I think so. I have it in my notes. You know, it seems like a lifetime ago, and it seems like whenever you think of the past, if whether it's a you know a person or a, or, or a member of your family or or a time, you always want to go back and you always want to remember those things. And Here, you well, here's some could... memories for you now, Johnny. It was you, a Faster Pussycat, and Ups and Up and Pretty Boy Floyd, which is so crazy because the, the Metal Sludge website does not talk about one of those bands, even though that band is now more entertaining than ever. I mean, holy cow, the entertainment that the guys in that band uh, 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 talk about uh, is great. Hold on. Uh, yeah, John Williamson saw it. It was Bastards Enough and Floyd. Uh, Brent Muscat does live in Las Vegas. He has a normal job now. He works in a casino. Uh, and I wish him the best. Yeah, but he's here. You do? Well, I don't know anything about that. And I don't know uh, anything about um, any of that. I well, remember I know being about it. It was 37 dates, Johnny. 37 dates in North oh, America. Yeah. Now I remember. 2003. I, I'm an expert on this. And Tuff appeared at the LA date. Stevie obviously didn't want to go on the road for that long. Uh, he's smart. I'll tell you what. If you go to my my dot com and you go under shows, there's a drop down screen that says past shows. Every show I've ever played from '96 till now is listed on there. You will find that tour. Uh, uh, Joker Blitz Media would like to meet. Johnny and myself in Pennsylvania, and yes, we 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 will figure that out. You know, Johnny, at some point, I'm going to have a meet and greet uh, of our own. I, I'm a, Johnny has to work. I will tell you that before the shows, Johnny believes you need to play at least four hours of guitar to be a quality player, and Johnny is a, a above quality player. Uh, so, uh, but I'm always available to hang out with everybody. You say Pennsylvania, that's the show where I'm thinking about going into Philly. So. Uh, message me on Instagram, J S I N underscore green, no E at the end of green, and message me, and maybe we can set it up. And, and if there's uh, a food involved, uh, Johnny will be there uh, too. Okay. I also like to drive your car, so if it's if we're going to pick us up, <laughs> that could be part of it. Johnny will be driving people's cars. We stayed in a hotel the other night, and it was raining, and we tried to get to the Waffle House, and it was pouring rain. And we didn't want to walk, and I needed an umbrella. So he goes, you know, I'd give you my car, but the guy, the kid at the counter. Well, hold on, like, Johnny. Let's re let's rewind. Uh, what city <laughs> were we in, first of all? Can you remember? Mm, why don't you tell him? <laughs> I guess I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's an upcoming. Well, it's an upcoming. That's right. oh. It's an upcoming tour diary. But Johnny and I were on oh. the road. I, I can tell you where it was. It was. It's got to be Ohio. 
because uh, of, of the chili. No. The chili's in Cincinnati. Uh, no, 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 that was an airport. We were somewhere for sure. And we were in a hotel and we needed to go get something to eat. And it was very, very late. Well, and I lost was, money as well. And you thought if we- I don't want to, I don't want to- I want to tell him that part. If we retrace the steps, we could find the money that I lost. That's right, because I'm always thinking, and and I like to, I like a good mystery. And uh, we figured we would go out and look for it, but it was pouring rain. And I said, "Well, do you have an umbrella?" And usually, I don't get along with anyone under thirty. And um, he seemed like a one of those prime vaping pain in the ass. So it's like you know, I, but he was very nice, and he was like, you know, I'd give you my car, but I, it's a mess. I'm like, ah. He goes, it's a stick shift. I got, I could drive that. He goes, All right. It's parked right outside. <laughs> so he gave me the keys to his car. And uh, it was raining. And I was... had to go up to my room <laughs> to do my insulin. And when I came back down, you asked the guy for an umbrella. We were going to walk together under an umbrella romantically into the evening to the Waffle House. And you said, you'll never guess. This guy just gave me his car. And he was, he was right. It was a mess. Um, uh, and <laughs> but we we drove his car to the Waffle House. We we that didn't do anything. Be... We I drove the car to the Waffle House, which was not very far away. I, I then, helped. I navigated. I could see it from the hotel, and I uh, we drove it in, and wow, what a mess that place was! And uh, then we drove back, and they I said thank you, and um, that was it. But, Stevie yeah, Rochelle so. says Metal Sludge got paid five hundred dollars a night sponsoring the tour, which what? is more than, more than Johnny got. And I never what? left my house. Seventeen thousand five hundred net earned money. What? Yeah, that was a fun tour booked by uh, Fat Fuck. I mean, uh, by, by Chuck <laughs> at Artist <laughs> Worldwide. Well, he's got a new um, nickname now. I didn't give it to you him. Know, you know how much I used to get paid for those gigs? One hundred and fifty dollars. No, we should talking. visit the Rocky statue. I'd like to. Johnny and I and the potato can run up the steps. Uh, um, <laughs> I love it. When is, you're why <clears throat> does Christy Crash Majors <clears throat> book Pretty Boy Boy? Well, he no longer does. He was a partner in an agency called Artist Worldwide, Con Artist Worldwide. I'm not sure. And, and they, they, there's a split or something. And I don't know. I've offered Christy Crash Majors a chance to come on this show. He's concerned because he's in very serious litigation, but he says he will come on at some time and blah, blah, blah. You know, I can't believe they made that much money. Between him and Chuck, I am, I'm a little mad about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, these people are not my friends. Well, I'm imagining that Chip took 90%. And you yeah, got I'm, the scratch. You know what? Yeah. I'm glad I'm not in that band anymore. Now that you know, for a minute they had me going, telling me how great I sound, and oh, you you were good, and that was that line. Now after hearing that, and I know that's just that's just a little bit of it. I I overheard him talking about me when he didn't know I was over listening on a speakerphone. Very mean things he was saying about me. Ooh. So mean, chips enough. So oh. mean that he ended up on a suitcase. Not my fault. Oh, by the way. I have a suitcase line, everybody. So if you're looking for quality suitcases, one of a kind, um, um, with my JohnnyMonaco.com, uh, go get a suitcase. You, Johnny, will go through your trash and your internet history, right. and he'll find a picture that you like, and he will make you a suitcase. And it's not a joke. But based on the money that they were getting paid, uh, uh, obviously you would be inhaling crack from a light bulb. Well, uh, you know. No. He gets excited, and then he disappears. We'll bring him back when he's back. Wish I contribute. Uh, uh, I would like to be a channel member. Listen, not everybody uh, uh, has it, and I appreciate it. it. There's no requirement here. If you have it and you want to support the channel, it's great. Uh, it, it's much appreciated and uh, keeps it happening. But not everyone has that. All right. Oh, Johnny's back. Hold on. If there, Johnny, if there okay, if there was that kind of um, stuff happening, like you said about the light bulbs, then I wasn't singing. Johnny, that would mean... if he wants to apologize, he was wrong. He made it a thousand more. It was eighteen five, and it was split between. Don't, his don't, don't, don't rub. Don't, don't. Okay, 
the fact that I was getting that, that's just like, that's awful. That's, I am expanding my suitcase company. You know what? I'm putting Eric Martin on a suitcase. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to, these guys, we are gonna... these guys, man, they're, it's ridiculous how people, they, they tell you they're your friend, your bandmate, your buddy, your friend, and they're just doing terrible things, just awful things to you behind your back. Beware, beware of the handshake. You know that song? No. Smiling faces. Smiling faces all the time. Know that song? Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me the other day if I would consider having Tim Gaines on the show. Tim Gaines is the uh, original bass player for Striper. And I just had Robert Sweet on. And the Striper family, the Sweet family, they've invited us to break bread with them. Johnny and I went and spread, spent the holidays with them. And... And I warned them that the last time my type went to one of those dinners, you know how it ends. But I said, if I put <laughs> Tim Gaines on the show, that would be like giving Michael Sweet the, the Judas kiss, you know? And I just can't do that to those guys. So I'm going to be Is loyal. That... Yeah. Tim Gaines. Are we talking about Miley Cyrus' his dad? <laughs> no. Tim Gaines is the bass player. He was the bass player for Striper, but they, it didn't end that well. And they don't really like to address it uh, that much. Why? Well, uh, well, I don't know about it. I didn't know about any of that. It's very controversial. But uh, I, I guess uh, anyway, so. Uh, but so I don't want to give him the Judas kiss, if you will. And so my <laughs> interview with Robert Sweet inter uh, inter <laughs> will air very soon. Kelly Nichols from L.A. Guns will be there. <laughs> and Riley's L.A. Guns. Uh, new tour diary going out to Patreon members first. Channel members. We'll get it next, and uh, th that's all coming soon, and I want you to do that. I will tell you that you can catch Johnny Monaco and I live in person. Forget the music stuff. You, no, one, you, no one cares. It, you yeah. want to see a couple of schmucks hanging out at a cheesesteak. We're going to be in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, Philadelphia, uh, uh, Connecticut, and then New York City. I will come home and whisk myself off to Nam, uh, war is hell. Ah, you're uh, going to that? Yeah, war is hell. But I will be at Nam. If anyone else here will be at Nam, mm -hmm. stop by and uh, and say hello. Uh, I will be happy to see you. I will be there covering it with the media for this oh. show. So you will get a backstage look at Nam. There's more uh, uh, whores at Nam than the AVN convention. Um, mm. Desmond is checking in from CES. Yeah, I, I should have went to CES. Time is of the uh, essence, though. Um, <coughs> Stevie says, we may not make it if the door should blow off our plane and the pilot can't land. That does happen. Uh, the more it happens, uh, the more... It, there's a lot of occupational hazards. Let's say you find an ad in a paper to have a, a woman of the evening come join you, and it turns out she has a wiener. These type of things... <laughs> happen all right uh mm -hmm. someone would like a potato on their luggage uh oh Jason well hey if you, i should again. actually take a photo of this one because it's he's only got a couple more days left william dotson uh with the last super chat of the night i think johnny's female guitar tech at the hannibal show did you have a female guitar tech mickey you did mickey was there was she carrying your guitars? Is that what it was? Yeah, maybe. Did she, She's good at that. Did she tune play. you to drop D? She, I don't do that. I just play around the notes. Yeah. I don't need to tune down. Mm -hmm. I know where all the notes are. She, uh, okay. she played the, she plays the guitar too, and she will, 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 ha will handle the heavy, the heavy lifting. Fred Muscat and, taught her how to play, right? <laughs> all right. I don't want. I don't know about that. I don't know who taught him, but uh, the Hey Man <laughs> Sludge was next level. One holiday season, they did twenty five thousand dollars in merch. Look at Stevie bragging at us. No wonder he bought us dinner last week. Yeah, I don't feel bad about it anymore. As a matter no. of fact, I de I demand every week twenty five dollar dinner to pay me back yeah, for that for whatever happened there, because that's just that's terrible. I'm up there trying to remember the words, playing all the solos, looking cool in a vest, singing all those songs, traveling around with those idiots 
for $150 and he's making five, seven hundred dollars a night to promote on there. I don't, I don't maybe they'll do it again. Maybe the the new tour coming up, they have a new one coming up. Maybe they can work out a deal that way too. I can't you know? believe things uh, don't change. You. People don't thank change. Thank you, Lorraine. I have no I'm friends. Sorry. I'm looking forward to seeing you, Lorraine, on the East Coast. Lorraine's coming to every show. It's crazy. Uh, from I Vixen? Will tell you, though. What? Lorraine from Vixen? No, she'll be there, too. <laughs> Look at this. You asked for 20, it. Yeah, that. listen, that $25, now that I know all that, we're not even. Well, but he's, he did it. He's here. What do you want to say? See if you contributed. Unbelievable. Now I you am can so, have, so mad about that. Now you could have some... You could have some sake with you. And also, in Stevie's defense, your band paid you. If you're mad at someone, you should be mad at Big Bird. I am still, I am. Have you seen my luggage line? Stevie, it's true. Phil, Phyllis Diller is the one who did you in. Stevie probably paid enough, enough very fairly. And they probably Always a kickback. You. Always a kickback with these guys. It's like I bought a car. Matt you know, asked, "Get him on the back what, end." Mom. Matt asked, "What I thought of Ace Frehley's performance at Eddie Trunk's 40th?" Um, <laughs> I'm a fan of Ace Frehley. I, I found Ace Frehley to be an influence. Uh, I didn't think he had the best show. I will tell you that he was very nice. People were questioning whether or not he was sober. He was 100 percent sober. I saw him drinking juice. I wasn't. No, he. <laughs> you can't. You can't say incriminating things. He was sober. Um, no, I said I was, wasn't. Oh, you weren't. That must be no. true. Yeah. But I don't think he's had stomach the best that performance. It's a, it's a, I, I hopefully he'll get it together because he has joined I didn't hear anything. Time. I didn't hear anything different. <laughs> he has joined the big time entertainment roster. John Williamson, where are you guys hitting in Baltimore? I know Ram said, but lunch, coffee, et cetera, in case someone wants to buy lunch uh coffee. Oh well, John, that's very kind of you. And uh We'll be we're, we're the hotel that we're staying at is very close to the uh, Rams head. And uh, I'm going to go to the aquarium and maybe some other spots. Uh, uh, and Johnny and I are going to have some uh, clam chowder. We didn't we don't like those crab bowls. Remember that, Johnny, whatever it was. Yeah, there's no need for that. If a, if a chowder is good, it's good enough in a bowl with a normal spoon. I don't need a bowl that's made of bread no, Johnny, or some no, kind of bullshit it. wooden spoon or no, Johnny, any kind of we were in the airport begging for for money and we they bought us dinner at this restaurant in the airport in Baltimore. Yeah, it stunk and they gave us these crab cakes they were just little crab oh. bowls and they oh. sucked, which is really Suck. bad. terrible uh, crab balls all right uh hmm. Ingve mm -hmm. Momsi would not stop and take a picture at Nam. Yeah, he's he's not the nicest person. Yeah, well, last time we were in Ohio, I complained about the um, the way of getting from backstage to the to the stage because you had to walk outside the building. In the rain. And I said maybe if you made like an extension on the side of the building, like a tunnel, like an like a hallway, you know, simple, nothing to make it great, that you could walk from the backstage through and still be sort of contained and he said well you and Ingve Malmstein are the only two people that complained about it so well that's a compliment I think uh He's Babe Ruth wrong. Museum I would love to go to the Babe Ruth Museum that could happen um the old Bambino all right mm. uh, oh, can we go eat please I'm starving I, time. I, I told it's Johnny like I'm gonna go on for an hour and an hour only and unless I said, unless some hilarity ensues, uh, apparently it has. I could talk about Ace all day, but uh, now is not the time. Uh, people say Eric, Chip was very kind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eric is saying he's very, you know who else is very kind? Careful. Uh, Ted Bundy. Yes. Yeah. So. It's snake oil salesmen are always kind. Uh, of course they are. They, they have to be overly nice to you. I mean, how else are they going to stab you? You get you can't see it coming. Thank you, Carl. Me, you see, for being a member. Well, mm -hmm. that's all I all I could say is remember this guy in the photo. Yeah, Ted Bundy. Johnny, very, Johnny, start very, the <laughs> Johnny, start warming up the car. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna wrap. This it is up. cold. Out. It's like thirty degrees out. 
for Vegas, right. it's incredibly cold. All right, uh, uh, Johnny Monaco uh, will be <laughs> will be at my house. If anyone would like to uh, uh, an appearance, a meet and greet, you can see Johnny outside my house. Kip Winger, Kip Winger will be here soon for his package. Who wants to buy this potato? <laughs> And the potato could be available. Yeah. I, I'm not bringing the to potato to dinner because he gets nervous around knives. What if they, uh, uh, thank you, Julie, for being a member and, and wishing us a good night. What if you, uh, 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 what if you give it to the sushi chef and he ginsus that into a, uh, oh, oh, oh. uh, anyway. Okay, let's, so let's, I, I rent, I rent. Uh, right. Chips Enough claims that he bought his house. I, I saw the deed. Still, I'm a renter, trash renter. Yeah, so I am too, whatever I happens prefer. on this carpet, I can clean it up. All right. So you you folks at home, remember, Robert Sweet interview premieres soon. Members watch it tonight. Next up, Kelly Nichols from LA Guns. Next week, Metal Sludge presents Steve Rosen. His book, Tone Chaser, oh, is in Rosen, third. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. We'll have a great talk about uh, Edward, Ed, Eddie, Van Halen, every other nickname I can give him. Go to officialstephenpiercy.com to find out Stephen Piercy tour dates. Buy a meet and greet. And if you live on the East Coast, this could be your last chance to see Stephen at some of these venues. Uh, he hasn't called it an official uh, uh, farewell tour, but I'm telling you, we're, we're, time is uh, of the essence. So catch that. And I think okay. I, I've said everything else. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay. If you get a chance, go over to my Instagram. If you want to check out more about Johnny Monaco, he has a record uh, that will be available next year. It's called She Said She Found Her Soulmate. It'll be available this year, I, I hear. Anyway, I'm, I hope you guys had some fun. I always think this is stupid, but you guys uh, <laughs> seem, seem to enjoy it. Oh, malfunction on here. Nobody knows. Did you guys ever meet? I, I've met Eddie Van Halen uh, several times and have funny stories about it. I didn't see Sean in the comments, but. Uh, I thought he was at Disneyland today. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, Johnny is in a great mood tonight. He, he is. Sean, I thought you were at Disneyland. I saw uh, he posted dieting. a picture, and the person on uh, next to you, Sean, had an ankle bracelet, ankle monitor, while they were at Disneyland. What a what an interesting thing. Um, <laughs> and I don't know what Johnny's up to. Oh, just got home. Well, you see, you smart. You beat the traffic. It's only eight o'clock. <laughs> Um, I want to get one of these uh, uh, Disney uh, membership things that you have, the magical inspirational key, but they only sell them for like two days at a time. Uh, uh, Y.T. Johnson would like to look at my nose to, to see if I uh, uh, check my cancer. I will, I will uh, see if you can see it. Go ahead. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. You see it? I mean, I see a red dot. I mean, yeah, there's a... Yeah. So just go, cut. just go back. Tell him you want your money back. Yeah. There's a cut. I'm looking at it on my TV. Uh, and oh, obviously, but then, but then that's on top of the cut. Anyway, we've, uh, let me put Johnny back in. Hold on. I don't think they could hear you while we were. Oh. All right. Uh, well, hey, hey, they went back on sale today, actually. See, malfunction on with the hot news. I'm going to have to take a look and see if I can. Wow. Later. The, the million dollars, Johnny. Are you ready for sushi? You don't look. Yeah, like I'm starving. I'm I, I'm weak from dieting. Well, well, you get we'll get going, Johnny. Get your I'm ready. shoes okay. on. I got pants says, on here. William says it's a pimple. I mean, I hope so, but I did Wait. have cancer. On I'll have, I'll have to look at it while we're eating and tell you. Yeah, thank you. That'd be nice of you. Uh, uh, Yasmin uh, says, Jason, Johnny, I'll see you tomorrow. We can sign. Well, Yasmin, make sure you say hello. Uh, it would be very nice to see you and meet you. Uh, uh, Liam uh, is a fan of the Potato Show. Thought he would kick into the super chat as well. So thank uh, that's you. That's very nice of you. Thank you, Liam. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, right, they, they want me to tell an Eddie Van Halen story. I'll save it. They're they're, they're long and Valley Bertinelli's involved. And uh, David Lee Roth, and it's it's a fun story, but I'll tell it another time. Will you be oh, live okay. next week? I don't know. I hope so. We're going to be flying a lot that day, so I'll try to find the time to come on. The uh, best way to find out is uh, ring the bell for notifications or whatever the hell that 
they call mm. that. Um, all right. Okay. All right. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it all out. New tour diaries, all those things. Oh, I wanted to leave, but West Coast Ronnie with a super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, Ronnie. You've been well, way you. too generous. And that's uh, super nice. These people are, are just, they're just, you know, they're. Tina they're like says, stop the show and go to the doctor right now. Uh, you know, well, I guess I, I sorry, Johnny, dinner's off. Uh, no, I've had. Can't uh, we do it? Can't we go like right after? I've had skin cancer. Uh, it was removed. Hugh Jackman had the same skin cancer I had. He had to go back four or five times. Uh, it, hopefully, it's, it's a pimple. It just happens to be in the spot where my cancer was. Uh, if not, mm. they cut it out. It's no fun, but uh, uh, mm. I got plenty of nose to spare. Uh, me and Jimmy Durante. Mm. So, <laughs> All right, attack, attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we we're, we're we're almost at the two hour mark. I've never seen so many people uh, 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 tuning in. I hate to say that's bother. weird. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, such nice people. I know shows, Johnny, that are on the internet that have like twenty views. I've seen some shows that have no views. I don't even know how it's possible. How could not one person watch something? How is that possible? I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you why those Good. shows exist. Self importance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I agree. Also, none of them have a potato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is an alcoholic, by the way? How they, much they, more can you drink? People might uh, soon. Uh, uh, yes, please hit the uh, thumbs up. Once I log out, we're going to find out if they're going to allow this to be monetized. So thank you for all the super chats because that's something they can't uh, uh, take away from. Oh, there's Joe in Seattle who is a great. I got a Johnny, you starting up the car? On. My yeah, Johnny, why don't you get ready? You, I'm of, getting there. We're talking. Drinking and, and, and playing with potatoes, you, you should, uh, you know, be getting ready to go out. We're, we're having, I am getting <laughs> We're having I'm a getting, night out in the town. No, we're not. I'm eating and coming right back. Well, okay, but that's a night out. That's a bullshit night. $700 a night. I'm still mad about that tour. Mm -hmm. That's lame. You know, while Johnny gets ready, I'm ready to go. Oh, where are my pants? Some people are concerned. <laughs> I think he's cracked up. Uh, I'm so hungry. My neck hurts. I hate living out here. Ugh. It is very cold this evening in Las Vegas. Uh, All right. I got my cargo pants on. Go oh, oh, those are very nice. Are those new? No. They're, I have two pairs of pants. This is one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stupid. I got to lose some weight. Someone thinks maybe you should let the potato drive. <laughs> Listen, last time I let the potato drive, it's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, let's go into the field. I want to visit people. And I'm like, we're not going out there. Mm -hmm. He's always wanting to go visit his relatives in the potato fields. For all the bullshit. people who, who uh, you know, supported by Super Chat this evening, I thank you. And you guys, everyone else got a free show out of it. You guys are, are the heroes. Yeah. You all should be chipping in. Not everyone gets this quality entertainment. Uh, this is something that, <laughs> yeah. you know, obviously thought Not, and preparation oh. went into this. Yeah, this just totally worked out. We rehearsed this all week. Mm -hmm. Christopher oh. Bell says, don't forget I the leave. custard. Funny you mentioned the custard episode. This week, it has been incredibly popular again. All of a sudden, the custard video is bringing in, you know, a few cents every day. Uh, really? Yeah. I'm getting ripped off. I'm used to getting ripped off. Yeah. First it's metal sludge. Now it's my friends. Mm -hmm. He got custard. Uh, uh, let's see oh, here. This is how oh, I put God. my shoes on. This is how I put my shoes on. I don't even bend over anymore. I just do this until they go on. Well, if after the money that you got ripped off of, I wouldn't be bending over anymore either. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I just can't believe that. I'm still mad about that. 
Let's see, what kind of jacket should I wear? Oh, it's kind of cold out, right? So I'm going to wear I this. Had to put, I had to put somebody in timeout. I never do, but. Why? What'd they say? Well. Talk about me? They were supporting a guy who used to go to that island, you, you know? Oh, who cares about that? That's stupid. Mm -hmm. Just say something. You know, everyone thinks, you know, because they're being topical that there's, who cares? Well, you don't want to go to that island, Johnny. Well, I mean, I don't like flying as it is. I don't know where it's, that is. I think it was a long flight from what I'm told. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, the, 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 when you go on planes, the kids make all kinds of noise, you know. Yeah. It, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. You know, want to X-stand the <laughs> Whoops. Wait, no, no. Well, I'm now Feng Shuan, is, he's familiar with Love and Custard. He knows the place. That uh, story behind Love and Custard was that Jakey e. Lee told me that it's the best place in Vegas and that Warren D. Martini would fly to town. They'd go once early, and then he liked it so much they'd go back again. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Mark Mark Sanchez had to point out that this is the Drake jacket. Yes, that is the Drake jacket. People love to see. It. I know when that highlight bling. Yeah, that could only mean one thing. Ever since I left the city, you, 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 Johnny, you sing it so close that people might flag us. Uh, you and me, we don't just get along. <laughs> you did me wrong. Take a place that you don't belong. Ever since I left the city, you, 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 you. <laughs> Telling you, man, singing potatoes. Sometimes when I do this show, I wonder why anyone would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, come on, come some. Four hundred people have watched this. We're over this, two hours now. My. my uh, my condo association sends me one of these every month. If so, anyone would like to join us at the sushi place, it's, called, it's called, gorilla so sushi. It. called Gorilla Sushi. I am so, so over it. They don't serve Gorilla, though. Uh, <laughs> not, not anymore. No. Well, you know, they're, they're, they're very woke over there. They're like, no more Gorilla. Mm -hmm. There's not an Asian person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Shooby doo, shooby doo, be doo. But when you leave, sure. they, they do, they like to do the uh, you know, they, uh, they do a big greeting. No, no, they don't just do it like that. They scream and they startle oh, and scare yeah. me very loud. Well, yeah. All right. All right. No well, wonder Johnny's a recluse. He takes more time to get ready than my wife. I just got ready in two seconds. What are you talking about? Gonna, yeah, I was going to say, I think he was pretty fast. A lot of people about. saying rest in peace to James Kotak. I gave my oh boy. earlier. It wasn't Listen, that interesting. Yeah, he was in the Scorpions shit together. But that, yeah. I mean, I, I do feel oh. for people who suffer from those uh, issues. It was definitely uh, a matter of time, sadly. I'll tell you, one of the best things I've ever bought are these wireless ear things. Yes, earbuds. Oh, my Lord. AirPods. AirPods. I am not tethered anymore by a by a wire. I'm free. Got, Michelle got the same ones that we have for Christmas. Yeah, because her boyfriend, who is loaded, bought them for her. She, you mean she's seeing somebody? <laughs> uh, let's see. Here. Uh, it's gonna be her birthday uh, uh, soon. Her and that Martin Luther King. Oh, oh, this was Oh, well, what could go wrong? And rest in peace to Randy Coven. Very sad. Randy Coven was a bass legend. He was a cooler Billy Sheehan, uh, but he died. There's a cooler one? He died about 10 years ago. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Zenu still prefers Billy Sheehan. That's not a real thing. <laughs> Don't tell him. No. No, we saw him at the House of Blues, and I've known him for maybe 30 years. He's met my mother on a tour bus that I've toured with when I was playing with Mr. Big. Or ups. I was the guitar tech. And we spent a lot of time together. And I saw him, and I said, hey, Billy. And he goes, was that John? And that was it. So, well, but at least I, am so I am so done with people. They're so phony. They don't care. This is what I got to say about that. That is beautiful, Johnny. Did someone make that for you? Yeah, Dave. I want. I don't know if I'm pronouncing him right, but he's a, a very nice person. Balls, 
Bowles ball B A. Oh, is, that, is that a Dave Bowles special? Yeah, he he brought that. He he made it for me. I'm pretty sure. I don't think and, he uh, makes the t-shirts. Oh well, somebody. <laughs> he makes. He, he did you do you have a did he make a license plate? Oh, uh, oh, right. I have my own plates. No, but he does license plates and pick yeah. cards. Yeah. yeah, I thought maybe he made this. Maybe he didn't. I mean, uh, everyone's been. There's a couple of people. They're very nice. They come over to you. They generally mean well. Uh, I don't know that I would wear a shirt with myself on it. Maybe lately, I am feeling very. Um, uh, excuse me. Feeling very um, positive. I'm going to wear know. a shirt with myself on it to dinner right now. I mean, I'm not going to change. Are. I'm not going to change, baby. Yeah. A fan was nice enough to make this uh, unofficial Sin City Rejects t-shirt. And, uh, yeah. You going to bring the guitar with you? No. I'm not. It's too cold for the guitar. The guitar will will have problems. The intonation will be all over the place. Look at these guys in this stupid place. I have a security team that they 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 walk around, and they're and they put their cars on with the lights. Look at this guy. He's sitting out there. See him out there with his lights on. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, they sit there. And says that this may be the best live yet. That either says something <laughs> about Ann's taste, uh, but he, I'm such a jerk. Ann's picture is so tiny on the screen, but I squinted and she looks she looks hot. You Listen, know. these idiots in these you cars, they sit up there and they, they act like they're patrolling the area. First of all, this is like a billion dollar place. No one can come in here. There's like security everywhere. I can barely get in here. That's the South Point. They don't even let them in here. And uh, these trash... They have to come off the Las Vegas Boulevard to come way down here to get. No one's getting in here, but for some reason, these ding dongs feel they need a team to guard us. So, so what do they do? They drive around in those cars, and I'm trying to to get in here, and they're like going slow, and I gotta, you know, they're like move over, and I gotta go around them. They look at me and they they give me like a. Speaking about driving around in cars, Johnny, you should try it in yours. Well, I'm ready. Are we done here? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> well, remember last time we did this or a while ago and uh, mm -hmm. I I kept it on the whole time and I drove there? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you wait. Didn't drive love, here. You, you drove love Translation. It's a new show. Last Some young idiots are going to fall in love. Sticks or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. A friend of mine bought me those tickets. Uh, his son constantly insults me when I go to their house, but uh, bought me those tickets. <laughs> These kids are ungrateful. You know. I'm so done with kids. They're just such idiots. They think, asked, they, they're smart asses, too. Stevie asked if we live in the same building. Wouldn't it be great if Johnny just walked out the door, <laughs> and walked to the door next door? <laughs> that was the whole commute. We for sure don't live in the same building. Johnny's, I, I don't live in a, as nice a neighborhood as Johnny, but I have a lot more space than he does. I have a lot of junk. Johnny likes to, he likes to live uh, minimal. I, not an insult. I think it's nice. Sometimes you have too much stuff, but I have 3,000 Funko Pops and 5,000 autograph photos and uh, other, there's a lot of stuff. I should be screaming it so loud so the people outside can hear me. Oh, you think they're going to come in and seal them all? I have security cameras on every window and door. Bro, leave that one. I already got the chili peppers. <laughs> um, <laughs> Take the Eddie Van Halen and the kid. Take the kid, the guitar player, the son. Take him. I don't got that one. Uh, Liam says there's 300 plus people watching, but only 104 thumbs. So we obviously yeah. need some those more. thumbs up. Venmo. We obviously Wait, need some more thumbs. All right, I, am, I am so done with this. I gotta get out of here. I haven't eaten in twenty-seven hours. No, I'm waiting for twenty-four. You. I gotta take 25, the Christmas tree down. Twenty-seven hours. That's how long it's been. I do have these though. This is why I, I need a big house. These are Frankenstein 
and of course his bride. Uh, these are uh, oh, geez, uh, slightly damaged. These are uh, bubble. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Mm. You 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 put the bubbles in. They have bubbles in them. All right. And I, they're still sealed because they need to be in the uh, to go condition. I have a room in this house that has nothing but these type of things in it. Mm. And then there's my dining room that has uh, a lot of Funko Pop. Have a dining room? Mm -hmm. Don't you? Right. You're, you're standing in it. <laughs> Here, this is my my studio. Yeah, but it's nice. You make it work. And then I have I have I have this in here. Oh, what is that hand motion on the ground? <laughs> but I have a uh, yeah. This is a. Uh, I mean, that's all I really. Robbie Crane. I texted Robbie Crane uh, to come on the show, and I even wished him a happy birthday, and he did not respond. I would like to come on your show, but I'll be too busy at Easter Island. Sure. All right, am I? Am I? Are we done here? Yeah, I'll I'll wait for you. All right. I mean, you can either broadcast while you drive, or you can just meet me. I don't know if it'll work if I switch over. Sometimes it. There's three hundred and ten people watching. If it's going to stay over three hundred, I'll wait. All of a sudden, you, you still what happened? It takes to, for Johnny to get to my house. You see me? And why, yeah, why don't you? Why don't you ask the people what they want? Okay. Uh, Hold on a second. I got to drink a little more of this brandy. Would you like to see Johnny drink and drive on his way to my house? <laughs> That's not true. What do you, what do you think they're going to say? Of course they're going to say yes. People are terrible. <laughs> people are the worst type of people. I'm going to put these uh, on. These are my driving glasses. Oh, wait. You know what? People like would this. like to see you outrun the police in a live stream. <laughs> well, well, we all want that. Look at all these people. Eddie Murphy's here. Yeah, okay. Where'd he go? Here he is. Eddie I'm Murphy. Bring, I'm bringing, yes, I'm bringing this with. Done. I'm bringing this with. All right, where are my keys? Johnny is about again? 15 minutes tops. Uh, okay, I, I got everything I need. I'm ready to go. I like to turn all the lights off when I leave. I don't leave anything That's on. Smart. But, although, yeah, but well, here's the thing. Parents do that. They're like, turn the light off. But if you do the research, you could technically leave a light bulb on all day, and it'll be like 20 cents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I mean, you know, I got 20 cents. I don't have Stevie Rochelle money just skimming off the top of the uh, tours, but I could. I got 20 cents only because I, I fast. All right, get out of here. A lot of people are yeah. staying home to watch, to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Alexander, oh. sorry. <laughs> Very generous. Let's go for the ride. All right, Alexander, I agree. Yeah. Matt really wants my Eddie Van Halen story. Uh, let's see. Oh, who cares? Yes. Johnny, would you ever do Sounds a one-off with Enough's Enough at a fest of some sort? Well, he did jam with Donny V last time he was in town, and Donny V did ask Johnny to do some shows. Johnny wasn't able to because of the Stephen Piercy shows. So, uh, so I mean, I think that yeah. could happen. I don't think there's any reason for Johnny to go back to Shawshank and play with uh, uh, Enough. I don't, I don't think it makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, Johnny's I, building like a hotel. I, I don't know if we're going to get reception while he's in the elevator, but I love those. It. They have yoga. Oh, yeah, there's events. Yeah. Johnny's going to the valet to have his chauffeur. This is where my store. I have a storage unit. Oh, I got the worst car here. 200,000 well, miles. Yeah. yeah. Look at this guy. He's got the old Chevy. Look at that thing. It's like Flavor Flav's car. Flavor Flav doesn't live far from you. It's really dusty. He needs to fix this one, but he's a nice guy. I saw him uh, throwing garbage out the window when he was taking Flav? it out for a warm-up. <clears throat> no, this guy. That, 
What about the fat guy who smokes with his shirt off? Is he still there? You know what? It's funny you should ask because I thought he moved because I didn't see him anymore out there. And I asked somebody, they're like, no, he's still there. You should see how I described him. And, um, and then I saw him like getting his mail, like at the front desk. We, we go down there, they have our mail ready for us. And, uh, he, um, he does still live here, but I guess he doesn't go on his balcony anymore. I don't know why. I thought he, I thought he was gone. It's been like six months, but he's. Thank you. Coffee I guess he just, here. I don't know, but I guess he doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me anymore. And then someone moved in next door. I was expecting the worst because when you move to Las Vegas, you're living with the worst. But um, he, he's whoever's next door to me, I don't even – I have not seen them. I don't hear them. They don't go on their balcony. I never see their door open. So either they're eating people or they're just, you know, not going out, which is fine with me as long as they shut up. So what I, would you say the ETA I, I, Johnny, is? I hear anything. I think the audio well, and the okay. video might be going to this guy. Yeah, you need a bigger truck. Stupid ass. I uh, uh, like 15 minutes, maybe 12. All right. Well, I better shoot my insulin sure. in a second. Maybe the audience would like to see that. Look at these people. Hey, guys. I'm going to put this on Johnny, but just Johnny solo layout on you. All right. Johnny, this is the worst color car you could possibly buy. That's like a $60,000 car. Why would you buy it primered color? That's like the new color for the year. Here's another one. Look at That's a Porsche. Everyone here has a nice car. If you're going to buy a nice car, why would you buy one gray? I'd buy that, like an orange one or this purple this guy right here that owns that one upstairs, he also owns this one. He owns these like 70s cars. Here's a Corvette. Everybody here has a nice car. I, I don't uh, look at here's the security guard. This guy, he sits here with his lights on, flashing. Like it's a big deal. Look at him. Oh, by the way, that's the color of my guitar. Look at him. Look at good job. Yeah, you're doing a lot. <laughs> Stupid ass. Yeah, this bright side. I put on a warmer jacket, and now I'm setting the insulin dial. We're going to have all-you-can-eat sushi. So I hope I'm he chases set, me. I'm going to set hope he this chases to me. 12 units of insulin right now. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, now, if I had an electric car, I would have been able to do this a lot faster. You would be here already. Look at this. I'm going to put this right in my here. arm. Because Aww. putting it in my butt Aww. might be too much for the audience. <laughs> I don't want to lose my money. <laughs> All right. Now we're now we're going somewhere. Yeah. Well, I've got to be ready for dinner. I'll have to catch This guy's slow. Time. Slow poke in front of me. He doesn't have a, 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 a Tesla. Come on. I am so tired of people in trucks. Where are you going to go? You going left? You going right? You going straight? Okay. Well, we're going left. So hopefully you're... Yeah. This is Las He's Vegas Boulevard. That, that person's kid is going to start insulting you. I this this is uh look okay, I can't see. It's called the blind left. This is where I go. I go to Smith's right across the street. My bank, one of my banks, is in there. I don't really use that one. And there's um, a Starbucks in here, which I usually don't go to because they're really dumb in there. And. Um, this is my CVS, which is overpriced. Ugh. But yeah, there's my building. See, I mean, it's impressive when you look at it, but it's a glorified apartment. I don't, I rent, you know, I, unlike Chip, who owns his, the, allegedly. Allegedly. And, um, but like right here, I can get on the highway or I can go to the airport or I'm on the strip. There's Mandalay Bay. So I could be at any of those locations in seven minutes. That's I good. came here to get, well, I came to this stupid town to get better and to be uncomfortable. How's that going? And to force, force myself, well, to force myself. Otherwise I would just be like, oh, I'm fine, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And, and that's exactly what it's done. 
it's made me a worse person, but I have gotten better. I think. Again, they're selling. They're selling their horchata. Horchata. Yeah, nothing like a good horchata. Uh, and um, but I came, and I'm in this location because it's centrally, lo centrally located, mm -hmm. and right down the street from the bootlegger, which is oh, I'm going sixty already. <laughs> I um, maybe I don't need a Lexus or a, a pre, uh, Tesla. I have been here as you have been here. Our friend who owns the place here, Ron the Bootlegger. There it is. Yeah, the Bootlegger Bistro. It's owned by Ron Mancuso and his family of the band Beggars and Thieves. And if you're looking for some Italian food yeah. while you're in town, why not? They got some places here. Got an, I got an outlet mall. I bought some shoes there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I go there. Road. And, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's cheap, you know, a lot of families, dumb people. And I um, I used to go to Outback there until they kept screwing up my order. I don't go there anymore. I went there with you, yeah. Warm Springs. Oh, yeah. But uh, I could take Warm Springs. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take Warm Springs and I'll mm -hmm. cut down to Bermuda and which will put me right on the um, the connector. That's I how I come over to your place. I didn't time to go to Bermuda. But so, speaking of Bermuda, what is this guy? What are you looking at? Look at people looking at me. Um, speaking of Bermuda, don't we have a cruise coming up? That's true. Uh, hold on, let me just answer these. Uh, any sludgers here besides the CEO? Oh I don't know. God. Let's take a look. Hopefully there are. Let's Metal get your shit really together. Mancuso played, uh, he produced Jakey Lee, Red Dragon. Yes, he was the bass player. And he actually put Jakey Lee's band together. I don't think it ended well. And a cruise, it sold out, so don't bother going. But uh, Look at Chick-fil-A, uh, Eddie Trunk's favorite place. I don't know what the big it. deal is about Chick-fil-A. He doesn't get it. Uh, There's Mandalay Bay. Time well, we're not going well spent. Someone says we're breaking new ground, but I feel like we've done this shit already. Some people might just be new to the show, which is okay, too. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, John Williamson was a sludger. His name was another name change on those sludge boards since uh, 2002 to 2008. So I think I remember. I think he is a metal sludge legend. Maybe he could give you an award while he's here. Uh, and Johnny Monaco showing you the sights. Oh, fabulous. This is how I go to the airport when the Uber driver takes me here and he's like mm -hmm. tapping his brakes and touching the gas pedal on and off, like, you know, on his on his phone, you know, thinking that like everything's okay because there's mints and water that I'm not going to touch. Mm -hmm. I can't stand those Uber drivers. But lately I've had my friend Chris who has fueled me with whiskey. Uh, pick me up because he's super nice and he he's allows me to be in his car with him for a short time. Do you have the whiskey in the car with you now? Yeah, maybe. It's 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 a lawless town, Jason. I tried to play by the rules. I try to do what they tell me. I try to to contain myself in the chains of society, what they have placed upon me. But then when you come out here, you realize nobody cares. They just let you do whatever you want. Look at this guy breaking for no reason from Texas. Hey, stupid. On his phone, looking down. Nobody, I'm not even speeding. Well, maybe. I'm going 75. But it's, I think the speed limit here might be 75. Oh, wait, it's 35. It's fine. It's fine. We're back up in the numbers, uh, pushing 400 again. Uh, this is looking right by the airport. Calling, people are this calling right. each other now and telling them oh. that you have to tune in. There's must see television going on. Look at this tunnel. This is the tunnel. When I first came here, I'm like, wow, how cool is this? And now, not so much because I feel if something were to happen, you'd be trapped in here. Like, for instance, a nuclear strike. There's a, a speech uh, here, right when you get out of it. Brent Muscat, I was in the car with him, he got a ticket. He doesn't know how to drive. No. Speed limit 35. So what we do here now is if you want to go to the airport, you stay to the left. Every Uber driver has a problem with that. But for you, 
I stay down here to the right. And then you don't want to go too far to the right because you'll go back to the terminal. So you want to go through here. So again, there's the airport. That's where Delta is uh, damaging my guitar. Oh, by the way, that, that post got a lot. I'm, I'm over like 2,000 comments. It's I laugh when these numbskulls complain like, they say, oh, there's only 300. Well, I see the numbers faster than the audience, and there's close to 400. But everybody Who likes cares to, what he thinks. Yeah, everybody likes the, oh, well, I think, you know. Yeah, everybody knows everything. Every, I keep and, getting, and, then they think they're, and then everyone thinks they're funny. Oh, geez. Oh, man. and everybody's got a comment that's not in the business telling me about things in my business. Mm-hmm. I did reconnect with my old doctor today because um, I'm I, I, I'm afraid to go to the doctors out here. So I looked at my old doctor up and he's in my network, 2,000 miles away. Keep, <laughs> but, Johnny, keep um, talking. I got, I got to pee, Johnny. Just keep talking. Okay, it's fine. So we're this is the airport on the right. And this is a, a very well, a very well kept secret called Russell Road. Uh, and to go over by Jason's, he lives on the east side. I loathe the east side, but I'm more of a um, south um, west person. That's where all the snooty people are. I, I don't do it because of that. I just I just need a, like my parking indoors. And this is the airport. And this connector connects me, and then I just shoot right over there. And the, this car is still going great. 200 in 15,000 miles. This is my father's car. He was the best. And when he passed on, I took the car. And since then, I have been maintaining it. So I have money into it because of all the fixing I've been doing. And all I hear from people, look at this guy with his bright sign, stupid ass. All I hear from people all is like, get another car, blah, 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 blah. I'll tell you what, it runs fine. It may, maybe doesn't look the best now compared to newer cars. I don't have all the computer stuff, but it runs great. I don't have a yeah, car payment. I'm going to put on my cologne, but I know how much you dislike cologne. No, don't. I mean, don't put any. Don't put cologne on. So I refrain. I mean, this, this is a dip. Normally, right here. See, dip. Dip. Right. I I'm almost wear, there. I normally wear Aqua de Gio, and then for my <laughs> uh, dates, they usually like it, but. Johnny yeah, doesn't like fragrance. Look at why don't these hillbillies put their Christmas decorations away? Uh, that shit away. Um, this is uh, we're getting close. I'm about two yeah. minutes from you, so I hope you're ready. Yeah, and, I'm ready because you know you know I don't like to wait. And yeah, this is um, we're getting closer. The sushi place is really close to your place, so that's you know part of the reason why we go there, and also. We enjoy, I mean, all you can eat though seems like a deterrent to lose weight. I, oh geez, I uh, don't know if I should be eating that much food. All right, uh, Reno, this is the one. So they warn, they say, warning, warning, turn right, turn right, and these people figure it out. They're so sketchy over here. You always can tell when you're in a sketchy neighborhood when they don't have hubcaps or there's like one hubcap and it's from another car. Mm. You are in the show. Um, we're getting close. We're gonna pick Jason up. He's he's. We're almost at his place. Probably gonna come down. So he's not probably doing the podcast from his phone. So I'm assuming that we're gonna go solo here on my phone. We're almost there. That up there is Eastern. There's a terrible street. A lot of riffraff. And now we're pulling up to Jason's place. And uh, let's see. The, oh, I'm here early. Just like I told him. Make sure you're ready. Not ready. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, you know what? I usually wait on this side. Sometimes I'll go on the other side and make them cross over because we got to go back that way. But since we're we're streaming, I'll just stay here for a second until the cops come. 
see it. Put this right here. All right. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm looking for you. Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Well, hold on. <laughs> Playing me. Are these 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 tours taking my money. I, I just I gotta. You know, I was watching this thing about the uh, Alaskan Triangle. I don't the think Ala I can move to it. Yeah, there's a there's a like a Bermuda Triangle, but it's in Alaska. I mean, I don't know. Oh, here you come. Come on, Lightning. Brit Lightning. Oh boy. boy! Boy! Oh boy! I'm opening the gate, Johnny. I see that. All right, here, look at look at this. You don't like this. Well, you got a potato? <laughs> oh, you got the other angle. Good. All right. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think I want this many people knowing what's going on. We're going to get some video feedback. I love it. I yeah. So now we're both screaming. Yeah, there we go. I got to get one of those lights you drop. Turn around. There, there <laughs> or that. Look, Look at it. it. Kind of like my car. You think I, was I was told that, that this car, car is a Jaguar, Jaguar but, but in a Hyundai. Uh, Turn my volume on. All right. Okay. It's been a long time since I've seen you, John. <laughs> oh, my God. Where's that potato? God. What's in this glass? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. I got, I got this from Chris. Chris. He gave, gave it to me. I got to, I to drink it. I was going to do with it. It's very nice to hear. Would, Would you put the on? No. It's your, it's your alcohol. No, it's not. I, I smell like something. something. Alcohol? Maybe? No alcohol. Turn your volume off, too, Johnny. That's it's in my ears. Oh. Oh, is there a feedback? I think so. I could, I, I I could turn, turn it down. down. Then I won't hear, hear anything. I don't know. All right. Uh, hold on. People are concerned about the alcohol. I mean, Listen, this is quality entertainment. Not everybody gets this. You guys. Uh, I smell canoe. Look, it's got you his brakes on. Your brakes on. Your you brakes on, you loser. loser. You guys paid for this dinner, and we thought that the least we could do was bring you along. And that is what we're uh, doing right now. I don't know. It might be a while before we get a reservation, though. No. Well, it's 8.30. What day of the week is it? I don't know. Like Wednesday? Or... Somebody said we should go to Planet 13. Do they, is that a dispensary? Because I'm out of sight. I need to stock up on those. Look, okay, we're here already. I don't know how to get rid of this echo. Oh! I think only one of us needs volume. Right, well, we're just... Exaggerating. Exaggerating. Dislocated my shoulder. <laughs> the sound <laughs> sound sounds like how Johnny feels. Yeah, I know. This is but, such uh, the hood. Alright. Look at all the spots are taken. Look at these. Look at these two. What was that? God, all this is taken? Who's coming here at 8 30? Jeez. All right, we're going to have to park one road down. Normally, I don't like to do that. All right. Look at it. Look at this guy. Damn. Uh,. Uh, there's a spot, right? Yeah. Look at this stupid car. I think he's in a. This is our spot right here. This is where I'm going. That guy pulled right out. Yeah. All right. Bam. Bam. I don't know how to fix this audio issue. Let me finish this. Oh, hold on, Jim. Johnny's going to have. Uh, Johnny's going to have one more drink. <sighs> I don't care. Uh, we come and eat uh, sushi. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh, this is where we are. 
they should probably give us some kind of endorsement because we're promoting the locksmith and then there's the gorilla sushi. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, sake time. I, I don't know if Johnny likes the sake. Nice truck. You don't need a truck. I bet you Eddie Trunk doesn't do Tesla. that on his podcast. Look at the Tesla. Hmm. Stupid answer one. All right. That's a, no Tesla's on the mess. What's going Look at this. Look how dirty this Tesla is. That's not the good one. The good one's like $98,000. It's busy. All right. Busy. Hey! Oh, hey. Hi. Two. Ready? I'm sorry. Johnny? Johnny? No, no, we're just sit down. Oh, he's got one. Ready? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so much, huh? I told you. Have a Dr. Pepper. Yep. You ready? Okay. I'll have a um, tuna, salmon, um, super white tuna, eel. What? Super white tuna? Yeah. Um, did we get? Did you get the other ones? Oh, sorry. Okay, so tuna. Week. Salmon. Was, uh, wait, two weeks ago. She was not very uh, super white tuna. Uh, eel. And um, uh, was it ramen the one that you got last time? I get the club tofu, but you like the ramen. The ramen, right? No eggs. Uh, I'll try the spicy one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is for you. Right. Um, I'll start with that. Thank you. Yeah. She she was friendlier today. She was friendlier. She was crazy. Last week was. He's very nice. I've known that guy. I've been coming to this place for a couple of years. He's very nice. I can't remember his name right now. He's the only person who's still here. You can see him. Uh, wow. Are you vlogging back in, Johnny? Or? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like the sushi place. Even more screaming like that. I took you out until you get it back. I mean, you can see it in my camera. It's definitely cancer on my nose. I mean, you can tell. It's terrible. Thank you. You guys laugh about this alleged zit. It's called cancer. You won't be laughing. Uh, it is very busy here. This is a uh, top of the line place. Johnny's camera is not on right now. When he comes back, I'll ask. Thank you. Uh, what's that one? Okay. Thank you.
Yeah, I can't, but it wouldn't be funny. Gonna be cooking for a while. That's too hot. No, that's I mean, way, way spicy hot. hot. Um, all of an octopus. Um, uh, super white tuna. Um. Rainbow. This is me anxiety. All the way across the place. I can see their mouth, like, I can hear it in my ears. One idiot laughing.
can't see them. How do you see them? Fans pay your bill. What does that mean? What? Let's see if your fans pay your bill. Let's see if your fans pay your bill. What person? That's the whole point, stupid ass. We brought, we brought everybody along because somebody was generous enough to pay for it. That was the whole point. Another one. It's only a matter of time before the battery runs out. How do you go back to viewing it? That's 210 pounds. <laughs> I'm a salad. And what do you get a salad? Salad. You get a salad with that. The 60 pounds of fish. I don't want the top. Guardian. Yeah. 
Trying to scream. I don't think it's loud enough because it's coming through here. I think I am anymore. Happy birthday, William. Thank you for watching. Thank you. 
I don't know what else I want. I might get another ramen. I don't think I want any more fish. You ever have the Korean kalabi? Short beef short ribs? Fifteen dollars. Got over here. Um, yeah, can I get another uh, ramen? Can I get the ramen again? The same thing? Okay. Um, I'm good with that. With that. He's in the hospital. <laughs> That's hot. No shit. That stuff's way too hot. I don't know how you can even eat it. The last time I ate it, I was dying. It's way too spicy, that stuff. This is just the spicy soup I got last time. It's too much. It's like a cauldron of spice. It's too hot. Your eyes are watering. Uh, yeah, it's too, too hot. I don't know that I want any more sushi. I mean, kind of. Uh, give me more ramen. Uh oh. The girls cooking girls. He's screaming over there. Shut up. Is that that? Yeah. Really? 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 I think the no egg was in mine. I mean, I like that one too, but <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's how Bruce Lee died. He really fell. He said, watching us eat sushi is like watching a high speed chase. <laughs> I get it. We just had a car crash. He almost went to the hospital. Stuff's way too hot. Every time he talked to me into getting it last time, I regretted it like hours later. This one. <laughs> this eyeball. Man, there's a lot of stuff. This is not a way to lose weight. <laughs> I think I look fat. If they contributed and we didn't give them what they wanted. Yeah, we would be just like another podcast. <laughs> Disappointing them and not giving them what they want. I know a couple podcasts like that. I should have got this. These are good. Are they? I don't know. Stevie Rochelle said something to me. I can't. I don't know how to do this. Uh, I came here with a lady. She just wanted to know. It was a ball of lava. It's so, so hot, hot, you have no idea. It's it's almost so unenjoyable. <laughs> what? Stevie's got the hots for the waitress. She's a fool. She's a flat butt. Like, she was just a fool. Oh. I'm talking to him on text. You know what her problem is? You want her because she's got this, like, attitude. You know, like, I don't you put it in there. You put it in there. The what? Yeah. Yeah, she's very really neat. She's, she's down to business. She's my business. I let you do things to me. I let you do this thing. Do thing. Let's see those pepperonis. This song is definitely I don't know what this song is. Selena Gomez? I'll say it's like that way too. If Selena Gomez was a boxer, this place is very progressive. There's like men with men and women and, and dates and each other. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to eat. Eat all that? Too hot. I got another ramen coming. I don't know why. Are you going to get more? What are you going to get? Yeah, too hot. Scalding hot. I'm going to pour that on my testicles. I'm going to make how I look. Susan. Next summer, uh, are we this bored to watch the meet? Right. Don't watch, shut up. All right, well, we can talk a little bit. Um, I have another ramen coming. I just ate like a ton of sushi. I'm sure I have lots of parasites in me. 
Jason ate some sushi, and the hottest thing I've ever had him ever, cauldron, blood cauldron, blood. Grasshoppers. And uh, I got my ears in so I could sort of hear, but he's going. But he can't too. I wonder if you had your ears in, Senator Wolf. If you had your ears in. I was wondering about it. Oh, I like this one. Look at this one. There you go, Stevie. He would like that. He would call that new car. A raw dog glass bag of bones. He had those loose pants on. I like it. Just like a uh, rapper type thing. Uh, all saucy. I, I got, got a thong on. Yeah, you do. Very out. Uh, cut. <laughs> Okay, so don't, don't drink too much sake. Uh, uh, Carl's Carl. bad. That, no, what's the song from the Drake song? Calaba Calabasa? Calabasa? Really? That's who they were, those loose pants. Those little Spanish girls. We have more viewers watching us eat sushi. The most podcasts get in six months. And we're at three hours, 12 minutes. Does this include the Vinnie Vincent invasion? Huh? Including Vinnie Vincent? What about it? I don't know. Here comes that round. Thank you. That's for him. Thank you, buddy. Calabasas. Oh, like that song. There's a song called Jackie Chan. We talk about Calab Calabasas. This is how they eat in Squid Game. Yeah, I was going to say, they, they call this a mukbang, where you eat food in front of other people on the internet. Mukbang. Not, not really? like a coffee, it's a different thing. There's your girl. Yeah, but. Yeah, it's definitely a quicker joint. I don't know what we're doing. I hear it. Yeah, there must, it might be a sex thing where you eat in front of people. Mukbang. You guys are enjoying this kind of quality content. Make sure you, you know, like the video. The least you can do. All this bad music, there's no way I'm going to get monitored. That is true. Like Jason points out, most people here probably don't realize that uh, they have an avian or whatever and the luggage is all I can't help you with the echo. There's nothing we can do. I like it. The echo? Thank you. 
I got broccoli with him. Are you gonna get anything else? I mean, I'll keep eating till I throw up. I don't think I want. I don't think I want any more sushi. I like this. This is good. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to figure it out. I mean, because you have a certain amount. Well, you have to figure out what the, how much it is of that. I mean, I don't, whatever, how are we going to do it? Whatever we want to do. This one wasn't as hot. How to get it? How do you get it split? I don't know. I don't know if that's just what the cats are holding. I don't know. Actually, no. I think yes. Oh, where the guest is. I think the guest is the building. Your is your <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make a run for it, right, Johnny? <laughs> when is Matt Thorne coming on? <laughs> he would love it here. I don't think he'd come to this neighborhood, but... <laughs> I wonder who goes to the bathroom first and the other one with the path. That's it's enough. <laughs> what happens is one of us goes to the bathroom and then the other one uh, makes a run for it and then we both make a run for it. I don't know if I need to eat anymore. Maybe we just go to the Oh, that's Olivia Rodrigo. 
Well, that's my favorite, but we're going to get flashed for this for sure. This is Olivia Rodrigo, who is better than Taylor Swift. But they're, they're YouTube's definitely on this. Oh. Are you done? Are you, done? Are you, done? Are you, done? you got that strawberry mochi? Thank you. Thank you. I still have a phobia because one time I bit into the toothpick. You never forget that feeling of biting into a toothpick. Yeah. 
So everything you guys uh, sent to us, well, to me, the mine, almost covered that. It was very nice. Thank you so much. Um, it's all you can eat. There's like a flat fee, but then you add a tip and everything else and it's up there. I don't come here all the time, but I mean, if you order a roll, like two or three rolls, you're already at thirty dollars. So it makes sense just to get to all you can eat. But you could sit here and just keep eating until you throw up. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm trying to lose five pounds. This is one of those younger waitresses where when you say something to them, they go, for sure. And then she arched backwards and her pie is very close. Puffy. But they would see it for sure. For sure. Ooh, something about her. Okay. Sure. Remember this one? Yeah, that's a big what? What? I remember her. I like big butts and I cannot lie. When a girl walks in with an 80 bit of waist and a rock on her face, you get thrown. Thank you. What? Uh, Liam, thank you. Liam Phillips, thank you so much. It's pit, pit, pit. Yes. I'm glad you enjoyed the content and uh, yeah, thank you. Johnny, thanks you too. Whatever's left over, we're going to put towards the Philly cheese thing. Thank you, Joe and Seattle, and I'm glad that you guys uh, enjoyed us sitting around here either. Ridiculous. It's a long time. Thank you. I thought she was going to cut the card and have some scissors. But her boob. What do we do? I know. <laughs> oh, here it is. Sign off in just a minute. Uh, we're using the iPhone. I have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which models, but not the newest one. Uh, all right. Well, I said 
that we would only do one hour. And here we are, three and a half hours, still well over 200 people watching this. Huh? Yeah, I think we're going right? I want to see it. Say what? Do they want to see it? See what? Those who guessed, you, you guys paid for it, you might as well see the results. If you're careful, you can write down Johnny's credit card now. Order a bed, you'll never notice. Order 20 pillows, you'll never notice. Anyway, uh, all right, so there you go. We did good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Rasha Masai. And I think. Mr. Mr. All right, well, thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Are we done? All right. Right. Thank you guys. You said you Thanks, to everybody. That was very nice of you. I appreciate that. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you again uh, very soon. All right, thank you guys. All right, we'll give it on that.